stable again. What is going on? Uh. Okay. Oh no. What is going on? Okay. Well. Let's let's try again. Oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Please don't. Uh. Okay. Okay, well, just to deal with it for now. Oh look, a Lygric. Let's stab it. Oh. Right then, the adventure continues. With choppy bit rated, it seems. I don't know what the hell's going on right now, but anyway, let's stab these things, shall we? Oh my god! Why the heck are we missing? Explore that area first after we kill everything. <laughs> Powder, unlock it. Pick up anything. I'm not picking up anything. Alright. Bada! Open the door! Open the door! Good job. Oh! Okay, whatever you do, do not walk into the mine. Is it gone? Okay. We're good. Why are we using Force Stun of all things? Oh my god, you have better Force powers than that. And ow. Right. Oh look, a salvager corpse. Oh. I, I just picked up the body, okay. Oh. Hello there. I'm gonna shock you now. Kia! And you're dead. Alright. Now we continue. Advance forward. Forward with this. Oh my god, what is going on with my frames? Okay, it was not like this before when I last streamed, but I guess it's just one of those off days. Anyway, let us advance forward and stab this Ligra to death. Because these things are fucking dangerous. Continue forward, charge. We shall decimate them. Attack, attack, ow. Forward, keep going. There's nothing to loot from them unless you want to, I don't know, tear out their glands or whatever they use to adapt to this unusual climate. Anyway, kill it, stab it to death, electrocute him to death, wait did it, okay, electrocute it, force lightning, power strike, attack, I am missing all of these, anyway, attack, remote, you're a bad shot, Oh my god, Baldo, you really need a program remote to have better aim, honestly. Anyway, so, we move forward. Oh, another Ligret. Let's stab it to death. Like Kia! Anyway, uh, right. 
Uh, oh look, a door. That is locked. Bow door, open that shit. I have this open in no time. Oh look, an army of droids. Oh, an army of droids. Oh. Yes, General. No, oh, I did not mean to. Actually, do I have all the parts? See what you have. No, you're still missing any meter matrix and lens. Okay. Uh. All right. I'm halfway there to make my own lightsaber. To make a new lightsaber, I should say. Bowdor, open that shit. I have this open in no time. Oh, sweet. Uh. Uh. Yeah, I'll break down some things. Uh, let's see here. Uh. Don't want that. I'm keeping the crystals. I do not want to destroy them. Benox Blast. Uh, I'm holding on to these for now. I mean, I could scrap this though, but. Uh. Okay, well, I don't. Wow, that's a lot of components. Okay. Yeah. It's, it's just one. It, it's not gonna be that harmful. Uh, I'm gonna break this one down. Uh, <clears throat> let's see here. Uh, okay, the mind of a uniform, not really, but then again, it's only one. Okay, so, let's see, what can we craft? Ooh, spikes, actually, I could use those. Could use a little more of those. Very useful to have. As well as for some repair stuff. Uh, what... Okay, these are just mods and stuff, okay. Neat! Anyway. Bowdoor, open that shit. Just some drugs. Oh, hello, protocol droid. What is this computer? Bowdoor, look at this shit. Look at that shit. Pending work log. Task... Oh, oh wait, 1046A, Air Condition Durka Chester. I can't believe Circuit Corp released a new protocol droid model with so many flaws. The batch we ordered last month have all fried out from overheating. The Zerka Rev said the droid was designed for temperature controlled environments, such as starships, but I don't buy it. The real problem is that Sith cursed power cell of the new model runs too hot. And worse, the outward modulator was installed right ne next to the cell and is the first thing to get melted into slag when the cell overheats. Needless to say, without a functioning output modulator, you could jostle the droid and it would pop like fireworks on Republic Day. So I'm working with the Zerka Rev to get these defective droids replaced. In the meantime, I powered the down the new protocol droids so that they don't cause any more accidents. Oh, so they explode. Well, good thing I didn't repair that, or else that might have blown up in my face. Accessing archives from the main computer. Connection fail. Main computer non-responsive. Oh, well that sucks. Okay, so, uh... Hmm. Okay, well, we'll repair one just to see what happens. Diagnose speech system, huh? This protocol droid is now active, however, the speech system doesn't seem to be working, it has a very limited range of tasks. Diagnose the diodes that control the speech system have been melted due to their proximity to the power core. Hmm. Engage meet and greet routine. Alright. I'm guessing they're like suicide bombers. <laughs> to the leg wrecks, so. Might as well. Gauge. Just gonna repair all of these. Send in the cavalry! Of self-destructive droids! Is that one gonna set off that mine over there? Yeah, oh, that was, I think that was a concussion one, so that's fine. Anyway, send in the rest of the cavalry! Engage, meet and greet. Meet and greet those leg grits. Engage, meet and greet those motherfucking legricks. Come on, keep going. Forward. 
Do they not know how to open doors? It seems they do not know how to open doors. Okay, then. Okay, move out of the way. I- Oh, it's locked, that's why. Don't worry, uh... Oh, it looks like I got another blow it open. Uh... Oh my god, they're all in the way. Oh. Oh, this is bad. Oh my god, I don't think you can... Huh. Get, oh, ah, god damn. You need to get closer. Get, get out of my way. Get out of the way. Thank you. Set and now fucking run! Alright, now continue your journey. There we go. What are you doing? It's... <laughs> Get, get, get out of the door! Get, get, get out of the door! Oh, okay, there we go. No, uh, you there! Get out of the- Okay, there we go. <laughs> Alright then. Right then. Let us explore further, or... Actually, I could just wait and... Have to- What are you doing? You're just walking- Erratic behavior patterns they have. Oh. And now they're walking in a single filed line. Come on, forward. Ma oh. Looks like they met up with some leg ricks who wanted to be greeted in quotation marks. Come on, keep keep it going. You there, pick up your slack. Keep going. Come on. Hurry up. You're lacking behind the other ones. What the fuck are you guys doing? <laughs> Come on, there's a deadly one over there! Keep going! Excellent work! Stop trying to spook the air! Keep going, there's more legrets that way! Keep on going! What are you doing? Move. Get those robotic parts moving. There we go. Keep going. Keep going. Come on now. Keep going. You are designed to be suicide bombers. <laughs> Keep on going. Keep going. And... Boom! <laughs> ah, lovely. Oh, there's just one left. Neat. Keep on going. Keep clearing up the path. This is very handy. Anyway, Bado, would you mind opening this door? Need. Let's go. A lot of overloaded terminals in this area. Oh, this must be the main computer. Oh, and that other one's dead now. Right. They've served their purpose. Yoink. And... Sweet. Oh, and let level up. Neato. Uh, yeah, just own persuasion. Force powers, I got force channel. Neat. Uh, yeah, I'll go insanity. Uh, yeah, insanity. Neat. And this must be the main computer. Let's go. But, uh, check that shit. Fixed. Uh, let's see. Access work log. Oh. Well, that sucks. System command. Oh. Camera control. Oh. Okay, well. So much for that. Ah. Let's go. Open the door. Oh. We can't open the door. Oh, it's stuck. That's why. Uh, okay. We'll bash this door open then. Eh. Neat. Now then. Grenade. Away. Wow, that didn't really do shit, huh? 
And they can reach. Oh, this one can regenerate. Ooh. X. Ooh. A powerful one at that, but not powerful enough. Now then, we continue. Another one at the corner. Kia. Strike true, strike fast. It keeps regenerating. This sucks. Kia, come on. Take it down. There we go. Now then, advance forward and is there nothing? Oh no, okay, there's more. Uh, okay then. Bash it open. Kia. This takes a little bit. Okay, there we go. Okay. Oh, Ligrex. I guess it's now time to test out Force Insanity. You are now mad for a period of time. Okay. There we go. Now then, finish it off. Excellent work. Oh, is there a box? Thought I saw a box for a second. And did somebody set off all the mines? I felt like somebody set off all the mines. Okay. Well, there's a. Oh. Hold on. Data pad. Storage room. This journal was found near a not clean skeleton of a scavenger. Sa scavenger? Salvager. The last entry of interest, I made it farther into the enclave than any other salvager. I discovered an untouched storage room. The computer in the power relay should allow me to open the security door. Once I figure out how to sneak past the light grits that have made a nestier, I will leave Dantooine rich. Well, too bad. You're fucking dead. Now then, disable those mines. Or collect them. Whichever you prefer, Baldor. Now we continue. Hello there. Ah, attack that one. What are you doing? Okay. Kia. We're killing them one by one to make it easier. And now we stab the other one. <laughs> what is wrong with your pathing? Okay. Force insanity is indeed an overpowered skill. Oh, there's another one that also breathes fire. What? Was that breathing fire for a second? Oh, wow. Seems that there has been some spontaneous mutations within these ligrets. That led to apparent fire breathing. I think. Alright, it is dead. Bador, hack that shit. Uh, okay, pending work log. Alright, task 1046B. Head Technician Durga Chester, I'm here investigating complaints of the storage room door sticking shut following a recent mishap with a defective. Flaming protocol droid, my assistant Tarn, will be on hand to open the door wait for me if I get stuck in the storage room. I see. Locate. Local camera control. Storage. I see. Power station entrance. Common room. Southwest hall. Okay. Southeast quadrant. And nothing else. Okay. Well then. Let us move. It's locked. Okay. Well. We're gonna have to go around. <laughs> And here we- oh. Okay, uh, we're gonna have to go around this way then. Onwards. Oh, another corpse. Of another foolish salvager who is not well equipped for this situation. He found the will of a salvager, the state. The will states that all of his possessions are to be left to the other dead salvager you found. You can tamper with the will so that the possessions go to you. Well, I know Velvet looks out for herself and literally does not give a shit. <laughs> literally does not give a shit about, well, these salvagers because she don't know them. She ain't gonna care. So, 
I will rob that shit. <laughs> the dead pad is the will of the dead salvager. It is badly misspelled. It is it used to indicate that if he died, his possessions would go over to the other salvager that ventured into some levels with him. Now it says that his possessions should go to you. Sick nasty. I'm surprised I didn't get any dark side points for that. But oh well. The other salvager is dead anyway, so I will so I'll have to take his shit. Whatever it may be that he has in his own possessions. Now then, stab this one. And there it goes. Now then, this door. Nicely done. One fell swoop. Oh, oh, that Ligra is actually alive. I thought it was dead. Now stab it to death. Ki ya. Now then, stab it. There we go. And onward. Hmm. All right. The through this way. Powder, open that shit. Now then, what is in here? Nothing. It appears to be just a common room area. Yeah. Well then, open that shit. Roll in. What? Uh, it apparently did not notice us. Let's kill it. Stab it. Stab it to death. Excellent work. Now then. Now. Hmm. There is more to explore. Actually, wait. There's that one hall. I should probably go down there first. Before I go up here. Or up there. Correction. And oh look, a mine. Bowdoor. Pick that shit up. <laughs> Excellent work. I have this open in no time. Nice work. Now what's in here? Ah oh, yes, the common area. It's locked. Yeah. Bowdoor, open that shit. Yeah. There we go. Yoink. Open that shit. Yoink. Open that shit as well. Excellent work. Now, what is this armor? A Bondon alloy. Uh, is it any better? Fuck no. <laughs> In fact, I probably scrap that shit or sell it. One or the other. <laughs> now then, onward to the garden. To the beautiful garden within such desecrated ruins due to the attack of Malak. Oh boy. Well then. Let me pick those shit up. Don't walk into it like an idiot. And now we continue. With a deadly leg right ahead of us. But let's stab it to death. <laughs> and as far as that leg right does not fucking notice. I am with the force, and the force is with me, or however that line went in Rogue One. Oh my god. Attack! Attack! Oh, there is two of them. Insanity. That one survived, but the other one didn't. They could not endure the insanity that was within said power. Okay, let me level you up. Excellent work. Boost, boost, boost. Eh, eh. Treat injury. Bam. Yes. Accept.
Okay, yeah. Level up. Bam, 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 and, um, yeah, that's about it. Nice. How the fuck did I learn, relearn Mark Shi faster than you, Kriya? That truly boggles me. Anyway, uh, Force, is, uh, force Plague, I thought that was insanity for a second. And done. Now then, you are still trying to kill it. I see. Now then. That is done. Uh. Oh, there is more. Let us kill it. Force insanity. Force lighting. Force lightning. Powerful indeed. Now stab it. Oh. Hello there. Are you a Jedi? My leg wrecks. You've killed him. Oh. They're my pet. Oh. Are you the thief that Sulu was complaining about? I'm not a thief. People give oh. to the Jedi in exchange for service. They were just giving. Why did you try to kill me? Actually, who the fuck are you? I'm KV, and this is my home. Now there's nothing to stop them from coming back. They're taking things that are Jedi and not theirs. Fuck the Jedi. <laughs> I sense you have a connection to the Force. I'm a Padawan. I'm one a day, Padawan. One day will learn enough to be a Jedi. <laughs> How the fuck did a Jedi Padawan end up here? I was studying here when Darth Malak and the Sith came. Oh. I was outside the Enclave when my master left me at the Madalay Estate. Shen protected me. But the Sith came asking questions of all the Madalays died. But I hid. Even when the estate was burning, I hid. So I hide. I'm hiding until my master returns. Well, they're probably fucking dead. These are difficult times indeed. I was a Jedi once, as well. You were? I, I had no idea. You aren't anymore? Are there any Jedi left? There are Jedi around, they're just in hiding. They are like me. I thought it was alone. Are there any masters? Uh well there was someone named Rook came here not too long ago. I remember him. I sent my leg rex to get him to leave. What? But he just made my pets stop. <clears throat> I was going to talk to him, but the mercenaries came for him. They never what? come down here. I was surprised and hid. There was a big fight. They said they were going to take him someplace. Son of a bitch. About stealing. I... I know that that was wrong. I'll stop. I was just trying to get enough credits to eat. But I'll... Think of something else. Something that doesn't hurt anyone. Uh... Hmm... I suppose Velvet would ask for the... Artifacts, even though she doesn't identify as a Jedi anymore, she is not going to... Well, obviously she she doesn't really identify herself as a Jedi anymore because she fucking hates the Jedi now and her teachings and how much they are wronged as also expressed by Kreia, so... But for obviously for this time she's going to pretend that she identifies as a Jedi so she could win over her trust for the artifacts. I found some things. I don't know how to use them. Here, you can have them. Yoink. I had a holocron, but it said terrible things. I threw it far away. What did it say? It told me the Jedi were no more, that I needed to survive and do anything to protect my home. Uh, where's the holocron now? I threw it into the ruins. I, I went back to find it, but the salvager stole it. It was my only teacher. What are you gonna do now? I... I don't know. I'll try to find a master to teach me. There have to be some left. There I'm are. The They're just hiding. One. So much has gone wrong. Should I feel bad that I feel better? But I still need to find a master. The lessons I learned, I think I need to unlearn them. May the force be with you. And also with you. Thank you. 
Sweet. I think I got one part left to find. Yes, General. I need you to confirm. No, you're still missing a lens. Something else. All right. I don't know where the fuck am I gonna find that. You know, I. You know, you don't expect to find all the parts within Jedi Academy, but uh, guess not. Let's go. All right. Open that shit. Thank you. And uh, yoink. Out of Sonic Blasters that I am not going to use. Alright. Now then. What is in here? Or did I already explore this place? I did not. Money. Sweet. Right then. To the gardens. Have I explored the majority of this place? Ah, a beautiful fountain. Now then, I just ah, get out of the way. Let's just move. Oh, oh, hi there. Braved the perils of the sublevel. Many stories and artifacts in your possession. This is fortuitous for myself and. Oh, hello there. For now, not only do I get rich salvage, but an even richer bounty. Do not be making this difficult. Your death can be quite painless. And I'm afraid your death won't be. <laughs> so, this is your threat. Is Terra what I'm supposed to I'm trying to tell you I'm not a fucking Jedi. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> In their ways. And now, Jedi. I I'm, I'm not a Jedi anymore. Oh my god, I really fucking idiots. Alright, uh Where did I put that? Insanity! And now Wow, only she suffered from Oh my god, your pathing sucks. Okay, there we go. Now I hit all of them. That was just a really bad roll. Now, kick the shit out of them. Stab them. Slowly. <laughs> Make them suffer. Little shits. Trying to steal my loot. That's what you get, you motherfucker. And now you're dead. Right then. Little shits trying to steal my loot. You sure, you sure got overconfident there. Nobody will miss you. Goodbye. Neat. Did I go out the other way? Oh, I did. Uh huh. Neat. So just keep going and submit that will to the salvagers. All oh, right, wait, I forgot about. Oh, wait, I, I probably should go back and I completely forgot about that one guy who's trapped in the sub levels who's still alive. Okay, we'll just quickly pick him up, probably kill him. We'll see what happens. Oh, I think I have to go through the other side. Ah! Uh. Don't have to run back. I completely forgot about the guy who locked himself in. Right. Neat. Anyway, uh, where's the guy who locked himself in? Ah, yes, that way. Is someone out there? Are you Joe Ron? Yes, yes I am. I locked the door in here. I thought I was gonna be leg wreck compost. Did you take care of them, stranger? Yeah, they're dead. You 
must be fierce with a blaster then. I don't use blasters. I stabbed them all to death. Just don't leave. Thanks for saving me. I thought those legrex had me for sure. Before you go, what the fuck are you doing here? It's all Tapale's fault. She said the entryway to the sublevel was safe enough. This area has hardly been explored. We barely got in here. And then everybody started going left and right, grabbing anything they could. It was every man for himself, and nobody was watching for Legrex. Then, before you know it, we were under attack by those beasts. So salvagers were running every. Wow, they're really. They left me to die. They're fucking idiots. <laughs> Did you find anything? No, I, I didn't get anything. Now I'd just like to leave. Sure. I know you found something. Tapeles told me. Fine. I did grab a couple of things from the room we were in, but it's just Jedi garbage. And why are you trying to... Okay, then. Do you know anything about a thief? All of us salvagers know about that. I asked Darala, though. She's talked with the militia the most about it. If you ask me, the thief isn't human. It's one of those smart Legrex. What can you tell me about the Legrex? like tunnels. We never saw much of them except underground in the hilly regions. I guess to Allegric, these sub-levels must be like paradise, though. There certainly are enough of them. You know, what's frightening is the beasts are getting smarter. I've heard they've even laid traps for us salvagers. Sounds crazy, but it's... What, you're, you're suggesting that they set up mines? <laughs> oh, whatever. How about a reward for, let, for me saving you? Listen, I didn't ask for your help. Uh, I appreciate it, but I don't owe you anything. Let me see. Help. Legrex are everywhere. Help me. Sound familiar? I was panicking. I'm just trying to get enough credits to book passage off this rock. It's the first salvage I've found in weeks. I don't have much to give, but... Alright. Here's the <laughs> credits. Is that enough of a reward for you? Can I go now? Go ahead. You don't have to tell me that twice. If you want to talk to me, I'll be by the salvagers camp. I'm leaving before the Legrex come back. Yoink. Yep, you pretty much looted this place. Anyway, back to the surface. Actually, wait. I think I might have missed something. Uh, according to the map, in the least. Keep going. Onward. Moving further. And. Oh. Wait, what? Oh, yep, there's a door. Bar door? Open that shit. Oh, I have this open in no time. Who the fuck are you? Who are you? I am an historian and scientist working for the Republic. Although I'm certain my contemporaries would judge me more a historian than scientist. What are you doing here? Like you, I was looking for some trace of the Jedi. I had heard mention that one of the Jedi Masters had gone there, but I found no trace of them. Do you know what happened to these Jedi? No. It's something of a mystery why they would exile themselves as they have. It is not the way of the Jedi to vanish in such a way. Especially when the Republic is in need of them. I fear that there is something else at work. Something that we cannot see. Then again, perhaps the Jedi are hiding simply because so many people hate them these days. Why do you think people hate the Jedi? It is difficult sometimes for the Jedi to see such things, since much of it is rooted in human nature, and the Jedi are often removed from events of daily life, insulated. But the reason the Jedi Civil War was named such was because few in the galaxy can recognize the difference between the Sith and the Jedi. To them, they are both Jedi with different philosophies. Wow. Do you hate the Jedi? Hate? No. I do not hate them. They only raise questions without answers. Jedi are not supposed to be like the rest of us. 
They are supposed to see a higher purpose in all things, and they are supposed to train students responsibly and well, so mistakes of the past are not repeated. Yet all I saw was ignorance and arrogance in what those seeds created in the Republic. It is difficult to follow the Jedi Code when so few others have, but you know this. Okay. What else would you like? Tell me about the Republic. I do not know if you are aware of how fragile the Republic is at the moment. Its influence is stretched thin. It grows weaker with time. What happened? The Jedi Civil War brought much suffering to the galaxy. And the forces oh yeah, the dark side Revan ending from KOTOR 1. Or Kane, or Revan, my KOTOR 1 character, pretty much turned against the Republic and used the Star Forge against them. <laughs> Before Revan vanished. Wait, he vanished? Revan's assault on the Republic stopped. No one knows what? why. But it was all that saved the Republic. What? The fleet the Sith had Wait, no so more. Kane the remaining Sith just dipped. <laughs> destroying the Academy what the fuck, Kane? Kane? Why'd you dip? Revan had already won. What do you mean? The war was costly, and it shattered the Republic. In time, the Republic might recover, but if a threat strikes now, if certain key worlds are not held, then the Republic will collapse. What else would you like to know? You look familiar. I imagine Do you? in the travels of the galaxy you've seen many people. Faces tend to blur together after a time. What else would you like to know? Why do you work for the Republic? I'm trying to save the Republic. Dantooine and the Jedi Order are instrumental to that effort. Despite the troubles of the Jedi Civil War, there are those among the Republic who still favor the Jedi and wish them to return. And there are admirals within the fleet who recognize that the Jedi must be found if the Republic is to hold together. Yet as long as Onderon remains within the Republic and the efforts on Tilo succeed... Oh, well, uh, Tilos is kind of fucked. <laughs> the Republic is fragile right now. Telos is important because its success will determine whether or not the other dead worlds receive the same reconstruction uh, as the <laughs> habitable again. It will affect a string of worlds along the rim. Well, uh, Telos is kind of fucked. Wonderland, strangely enough, was unaffected by the Jedi Civil War. It's almost as if Revan didn't want to attack it. Its huh. resources Strange. and position on the rim make it a vital supply line and guard post against outer rim attacks. Also, it's the only world in the Republic still capable of seeding ecosystems into other dead worlds. On the world's wildlife is some of the most aggressive in the known galaxy. Huh. Really placing some of those beasts on target worlds will guarantee their habitation for years to come. And why is Dantooine important? Dantooine was one of the few Republic worlds on the Outer Rim. It is why the Republic is attempting to get the settlement up and running. Dantooine is within reach of several other Rim worlds, and the Republic will need it as a resupply post if they are to keep a presence on the Rim. Okay. Uh, uh, what else? Okay. Before you are we go, going? What? I had a question for you. You came to Dantooine in search of Jedi. Why? Well, uh, to get some fucking answers. What answers do you see? It's been my experience that Jedi rarely answer such questions, or instead indulge in half-truths. Well, she wants to know why they sentenced her to exile, and Kreia doesn't seem to be against it, although initially she seemed to be against it when the recording was played, and she says, oh, don't be reckless, or don't waste your efforts into discovering whatever. I think she meant to say, I think what she meant to say about finding answers about your exile is because, uh, well, not because, uh, not, not because, uh, she's, I think she meant, I think she meant that you shouldn't be reckless in finding knowledge, basically, otherwise you may end up getting yourself killed or whatever, so you have to be careful on how you approach this, so, yeah, Velvet would. Want to learn why the fuck did they exile her? Exiled you? It is strange they would sentence you and not speak honestly of your crime. They claimed it was because I went to the Mandalor Mandalorian Wars, but something has emerged that changed my mind. It is not the Jedi way to lie. Well, no, 
That is not true. They fucking lied as they breathe. If they think a greater good can be achieved. But when such things are done, it is always done with the intention that the person they withheld truth from cannot be trusted with that knowledge. That it will bring harm upon themselves and others. Well, they exiled me because of some reason other than the Mandalorian Wars, and I think it had to do something with my lost uh, connection to the Force. Perhaps there was some greater danger in you knowing the reason than in the reason itself. Strange. Mysterious are the ways of the Jedi. Sometimes they see things the rest of us do not. Other times, such sight brings arrogance and a fall. In any case, it seems to me like our goals are compatible. Oh. If you would have me. I can apply my knowledge and skills to helping you find the answers you seek. Oh, neat. Well, we would welcome you in our company. Neat. Uh, it's you and Treya and... Wait. What? Oh, okay. There we go. Ready. So you're a soldier, huh? Treat. Oh, you only have. Okay. Oh, you do wield. What do you use, though? <laughs> uh. Huh. I guess I'll just up your conditioning. What, what do you wield? Oh, I guess. What, what are your stats, actually? Uh, let's see. Strength, dexterity, constitution. Uh, okay. It's okay. Uh, yeah. Do I make you a. Uh, mmm. Mmm. I just up your dexterity. Uh, treat injury. Feats. Do you have the finesse thing? You don't, but you could. You could, in fact, learn finesse shit. But we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Skills, treat injury, feats. Uh, well, I mean, you have two weapon finding so might as well. Hmm. Uh, yeah, I might as well pump that shit up to that. Treat injury, feeds, get high conditioning, except level up, level up. There, feeds, uh, 100% sure. I, I think I've heard that you can convert some of your party members who aren't Jedi to actual Jedi. <laughs> so, that's what I'm currently considering right now. I think he is one of those candidates, which is also why I made Atten a melee guy, yeah, because I think you can turn him into a Jedi. But yeah, uh, let's see. I'm debating whether or not... Yeah, why not? He's got that dexterity. And he needs that finesse. Incredibly high dexterity. Now then, uh, uh, yeah, I'm just gonna, you're gonna be in a, you're gonna be a flurry boy. Treat injury, feats, master flurry. So there's no penalty. Ooh, that's good. Master flurry. And, uh, let's see. Oh, you can wear heavy armor. Oh, that's awesome. Okay, you can wear this. And, uh, what do you specialize in? What do you specialize in? Uh, feats? No, no, uh, skills? I don't think you spare. Yeah, you, you don't really specialize in. Okay, well, I can do that. Give you that. Uh,. And you're a dual wielder, huh? Um, mm. Hmm. 
Hmm. Well, I did give you Master Flurry, so I just give you a Force Spike. And away we go. The three dead mercenaries lay here, accompanied by signs of combat. Each of the mercenaries bear evidence that they were killed by a lightsaber. Rook was here, it appears. Can I pick up any of their shit? Okay. Uh, Askul's orders. The data pad contains orders from Askul, the leader of the mercenaries on Dantooine. Vork has wandered into the Enclave alone. He will take a full squad and capture the Jedi alive. Bring him to our nook in the Kinrath Caves to await transport to Nar Shaddaa. He will fetch a fine bounty. Those sons of bitches. I need answers and they're taking them away from me. Anyway, advisor, advisor, disciple, tell us, t tell me about yeah, yourself first. Something wrong? I ask questions. Of course. What did you wish to know? Uh, what do you know about force bonding? A force bond? What do you mean? I have a connection with another that could be lethal to us both. I'm not sure I understand. I have a bond with another that transmit train that pain across distances. If she suffers, I suffer. If she dies, there's a chance I'll die too. Thinks for a moment. You, you think of something? Tell me. No, I thought I had heard mention of such connections in some of the holocrons, but I do not possess them. They are part of the holocrons that were taken from the enclave. Where could those holocrons be? I do not know. Do not know who has taken them. If we were to find them, perhaps I could help you find the answers you need. What do you know about bonds? I know some. Well, remember. Speak. It is said that when a Jedi and Padawan establish a close connection, that they can feel each other across distances and coordinate their movements in battle. The intensity of the connection varies. That bonding is said to also be something that manifests itself in such techniques as Bastila's battle meditation. The ability to touch the minds of others, to demoralize or inspire them. It is also said that moments of death or near death may also cause such bonds. The stronger one is in the Force, the stronger the connection. Is such a bond ever lethal? I've never heard of a bond being lethal. I suppose such a thing is possible. I had not truly believed Bastille as battle meditation until I had seen it in action. See. You said feel each other f across distances. What about their other thoughts? Thoughts. Images, perhaps, but not actual communication and words. A bond often causes a sensation to be passed along it, such as extreme fear and pain. Still, I have seen Jedi who have the ability to communicate with aliens and beasts. It is a rare thing. Perhaps telepathy is one such talent. I had other questions. Of course. Uh... Do you know it? It is something of a mystery why they would. It is not the way of the Jedi to vanish in such a way. Especially when the Republic is in need of them. I fear that there is. And again. It is difficult sometimes for the Jedi mm -hmm. to see such things. But the reason the Jedi Civil War was named such was because to them. Well. Eh. Of course. Eh. Forgive me. But there is something I must oh. ask. In my study of the Jedi histories and the more contemporary records, I have heard tales of a Jedi who was exiled. You are that Jedi. Yes. The records are somewhat evasive on why this was done. I wanted to I, discuss. I literally why told you about that. The Jedi order and accept exile. And why do you want to discuss it? Perspective. Nothing more. The Jedi held no truth to me. Only war did. I see. And because you went to war, they cast you out? At first, I thought I was the sole reason. 
Now I am not so sure. Do you have a record of this trial? Yeah, T3 has a copy of it. Perhaps I shall examine it when I get the chance. With your permission. You're free to do so. I appreciate your trust. Thank you. Very well. Yes! Alright, uh... Still neutral. Yeah, you know, I'm not even trying to be neutral, I'm just neutral. <laughs> I did not expect to stay neutral this whole time, more or less. Like, I thought I was gonna get shifted, get shafted over to the dark side or even the light side, but apparently I'm doing well balancing, even though I'm not even trying to do so. <laughs> but then again, I'm not even trying to uh, go light or dark. I'm just going based off what my character would think and how they are influenced by other members of my party, of the party, such, such as Kreia, who is uh, currently the the maid currently her biggest influence on her as of now because she's pretty much the pretty much her best mentor figure that she's ever had to guide her through this exile and all the trauma she's experienced from the Mandalorian Wars and the aftermath of uh, the Jedi Civil War so yeah Now then. And yeah, Velvet also would let Disciple uh, study the recording, because I mean, there's not really going to be much wrong from it, and plus I'm pretty sure he's, she senses, she doesn't really feel like he's deceiving her, because again, he's been pretty much upfront with her about what his intentions are, what history, and what he specializes in, so, anyway, hello. Eh, yeah, I got 300 credits. <laughs> anyway, well on. Traveler has returned. So. Uh. Eh. Fuck you. Bye. Hello, Joran. You again. Uh, thanks for helping me out down there. I found a few Jedi artifacts down at the sub levels. I was planning on selling them to Darala, but I'll sell them to you if you want them instead. How much? I found three things down there. One some sort of crystal and the other Ooh, like light do you have lenses? Part. If you give me a thousand credits, you can have it all. That'll be enough for me to get off. I mean, I got a. No how many credits? Actually, how many? With what you buy. Can I see him first? It doesn't work that way. Maybe it's worth a lot more than a thousand credits, and you make off real good. Maybe it's a lot less, and I make off good. I'd like to think about Just it. Don't take too long. I'll have to sell it to Darala eventually. How much credits do I have on me? Oh wow, I got a shit ton. Okay. It's you again. I found a few How much? You. Here you go. <laughs> a pleasure doing business with you. Now I can finally get passage back home. I hope that junk is worth it to you. I really do. Come back anytime. It'll take me a while to get everything set straight. Uh. Pure from the lens. I. I don't know if I got the proper lens, but yeah, whatever. <laughs> Drada? You still lurking around here? Just go back to Kunda. Well, fuck you too. Um. Certainly. Take your time. Anyway, uh, eh. Right. Let's move on. Yeah. What the heck? What's going on? Okay, my phone was acting weird for a second. Anyway, continue on. Kunda Plains, Kunda Plains. Mercenary camp. Yeah, that's... Well, off to the caves we go. Actually, perhaps 
Hmm, do I report back to... Nah, if I could, yeah, I'll report back to Koo. Yeah, I think I'll report back to Kuna first before going into the caves. If it's possible, if not, I'll just head to the caves, then. Where do I enter? Because, yeah, Velvet has learned from Freya not to be bloody reckless with everything, so she's going to first report to Kunda, tell him about where the fuck Rook is, and then go to, yeah, to the caves to track these motherfuckers down who stole, who kidnapped Rook. Uh. No. Okay, well I can't. Might as well get the fuck out of here and beat up some mercenaries who stole Rook. Who kidnapped that guy. I want the truth out of him and you guys are taking him away from me, so I will slay all of them. Yeah. For speed, please. Okay, there we go. Eh. I'm going the wrong way. Okay. Onward! And there he is. Alright, get ready for battle. Master Rook is enclosed in the forest field, a prisoner of these mercenaries. He regards you without expression. Halt, Settler. This is a restricted area. Fuck you, I want my master. <laughs> you should leave. They're all dead. <laughs> So the best scenarios are actually no. Why are you holding him prisoner? He's a Jedi master. Well, the bounty is going to be that much sweeter then. Nar Shaddai is paying extremely well for Jedi, especially if they're alive. I'm going to say this nice and simple for your little calf hurting head. Unless you want to wind up dead, leave now. Open the cage. Let the Jedi out. Fuck! <laughs> we trained against that during the war. It's a Jedi. Fuck! <laughs> before she tries something else. Son of a bitch! <laughs> Fine. Oh no! I'm supposed to pause. No! 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 Wrong move! Wrong move! Where is it? Insanity! Okay, now stab those motherfuckers. <laughs> Kill them! What is wrong with your path thing? Oh my god! Just uh, stab this one then, you fool! There we go. Now stab that one. Let us end this. I will silence this one. Always rushing into action without thinking of the consequences. What? You're expecting thanks? Fuck Kunda you. <laughs> and you've ruined the best chance of averting a full-scale conflict. Always a pressure, Rook. I see you have still you still have your cheery disposition. Is this a joke to you? People's lives are at stake. Every action has consequences, no matter how small or insignificant they seem. And even the smallest choice has the potential for harm. The Mandalorian Wars was proof of this. 
Intentions mean nothing of a greater tragedy is caused. Is this the same careful timing you were counting on in the Mandalorian Wars? Did you think rushing into battle against the Mandalorians did anything but bring more harm to the galaxy? It only served to bring about a second war more dangerous than the first. Countless Jedi died in both conflicts, and everyone who followed Revan and Malak died or returned to the dark side. Except conveniently... By the time the council added, the Republic would have been torn apart. Disobeying the Jedi Council brought about more destruction than the Mandalorian Wars ever could. Countless Jedi lost, the Republic broken. The Enough of this. This is not the time for such arguments. The mercenaries have allied themselves with the exchange and are planning to attack Kunda. They've been holding off for the right moment. And now, since they lost their captive Jedi, they'll attack immediately. I'm going to try to reach Administrator Adari. Time is of the essence. Well, let's get the fuck out of here. Ha! Huh, race you to the tunnel! Uh, uh, oh, he already beat me, okay. Wow, his force speed must be so immense that <laughs> he just blinked out of existence. Oh, hi. And I am Ascool. Oh, hello, Ascool. I've heard of you through data pads. Yes, I've learned about what you're planning to do. Why? Why? According to my reports, I have four times as many soldiers as the militia, and I'm committed to taking Kunda. It is inevitable that I will succeed. If you wish to avoid my men eradicating the people of Dantooine, you will make it easier for me to take Kunda. Of course, I will pay well for your services. What do you have in mind? There are many ways someone with your abilities can aid us. Before the action begins, I have two main tasks in mind for you. Disable the gun turrets and the traps. Yeah, yeah, I'll help you. Lies. Return to me when you are ready for us to begin our assault. I warn you not to keep me waiting. Well maneuvered. With both the mercenaries and the militia counting on your aid, you can influence the outcome of the situation as you see fit. Smile. Hey. Thanks, Kreia. I learned so much from you. <laughs> your wisdom. I did not forget. Anyway, time to get the fuck back to the building. Ah, shit. No, no. Uh... All right, and off we go. Cause yeah, the reason why Velvet's gonna side with Kunda is because, well, she is because, well, if she did win against Kunda, she'd end up having the fight and possibly kill Rook. And if she kills, like, at least even at least one of the councilmen, then sh she's probably likely not going to get answers, because they can probably sense that, oh no, she's killed one of our own. Yeah, we're not going to trust this bitch. <laughs> Alright, uh... Right, uh, well, off to warn her. To warn the administrator. Actually, first I'm going to sell some drugs to this dealer. <laughs> I mean, stimulants, if you were. Right then. Hello, oh god. Okay. Shut up. I'm here to sell you shit. Let's see here. Let's see here. Fake holocron. Uh. Ah, there it is. Sell, 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 okay. Targeting visor, what is this? Ah. Uh. Neat. Ah. Uh. I mean, so far, eh. I'll sell one of each. There we go. Getting a lot of cash money out of this. 
is it's more of a collection thing I have in mind. Anyway, back to it. Oh, wait, actually, do you have any medical supplies? I'm gonna need them. Oh, you don't? Okay. Oh boy. This is going to be quite a heavy situation. Anyway, I can see a lot of defenses are prepared. Hi there. Yeah, I'm gonna warm the fucking administrator, cause, cause if I do that, I'm gonna be on Rook's side, and, uh, and I'll, and Velvet will be taking another step closer to, to knowing why the fuck she was booted out of the order for such a vague reason. I see you have found the elusive Master Rook. He's told me that his rescue complicated our situation to some degree. I can't say that I anticipated that. I thank you. For Likewise. <laughs> Rook has informed me that the mercenaries devised a plan of attack to annihilate Kunda itself. Yes, we're I'm killing those motherfuckers. Zeron says that even with a plan, the mercenaries have to gather their forces, then coordinate their assault. So we still have time. I'm afraid the militia has not been adequately trained for the task that befalls. Wow, you guys kind of suck then. Uh, who knows about the attack? Right now, just ask the militia. I don't want to create a needless panic. But be assured I will make sure that all civilians are warned in time, so they can get to safety. Though if we lose this battle, nowhere on Dantooine will be safe for settlers for long. What can I do to help? Our militia is effective at peacekeeping, but isn't prepared for a full-scale battle. If you can do anything to ready them for the reality of it, that would be helpful. Besides that, look around Kunda and see what you can do to strengthen our defenses. I know that we don't have the perimeter turrets online, and that alone could make a significant difference. Zeron says there is a considerable chance they will breach Kunda itself. Anything you can do to slow them down could turn the tide back. Can you give me anything to help? I have instructed the militia and other Kunda personnel that you are to be provided with anything that can be spared. Unfortunately, that isn't much. I'll go check out the defenses then. Here is a Mastercard key that will open all of the security doors inside Kunda. Anything that might aid you in your task, please use. Very well. Soon, all the civilians will be evacuated. So if you have any business with them, I suggest you take care of it. Whenever you are ready to finalize the defenses, talk with Sarah. Fuck. You heard what the administrator said. Each of us has to do what they can to aid in the defense of Kunda. See where you can lend a hand. Very well. well. Time to talk more when this is all over. Indeed. Right, uh, Kreia? Uh, what can yes. you... Have you come with questions? Yes. Can you tell me about the crystal? I know this isn't really a good time, but... That crystal is bonded to you. Through you, it acquires its character and strength. And through it, your power is enhanced. Should your power increase or your resolve change, speak to me again about this matter, and I will help you refocus your crystal. Is there something else you wish? Did you know, Raven? I misspoke. Fuck. No, not enough influence. Um, uh. I know. Do you know anything about the? Yes. And how much like beasts they had become. Ooh. Combined, united against the Jedi, they command legions of Sith. But above these legions, there are three who must be stopped. As long as any one of them lives, then we and all life are dead. And who would those three be? One bathes in pain, feeds on it for sustenance. The other has ceased being a living being so consumed by hunger that he has forgotten his own flesh. And who's the third? And the last is a creature of betrayals. For without such things there is no hope. The one who bathes in pain, Sion. Yes, of pain he has learned much. Of knowledge, of teaching, he knows nothing. Like the others. He was spawned by the horrors of the Mandalorian Wars. He exists solely to spread his pain to all Jedi everywhere. And the one consumed by hunger? The less said of that one, the better. Even a stray thought may draw him. Oh. It is possible that he cannot be defeated. He is one who has learned the greatest of the Sith teachings, and it enslaved him until you are ready. We must not see huh. him out. And the betrayer? Even now she is difficult to see. 
She must remain hidden for now until the time is right. If not, then all our efforts will be see. In this you must trust me. If she is exposed too soon, then this war will be over before it has begun. Well, shit. <laughs> Ask. Uh. Well, it's gonna be going. We've been told to provide you with anything you need. We have to keep the news of the mercenaries' plans quiet. Well, I'm probably gonna need Bowdo to fix up the turret perimeters. Uh. Oh, hey, Baroon. Uh. Saron was right about the mercenaries all along. I guess my ego clouded my judgment as to what's best for Kunda. I thought I could open that one. Okay, I think it's just the security doors. Okay, uh, yeah, this one. Open! Tart control station. I don't think I. I think I need Baudor. Swoop by. Oh, that's the swoop bike station. Okay. Uh, okay, disciple, uh. Gonna have to switch you off of Baudor. Because Baudor is our. Actually, no, well, t technically T3, but. I mean, come on. I rarely use T3 because. And there's not really much T3 content out there. Uh. Yeah, fuck it, why not? Hello, T3. Welcome back. It's certainly been a while. Let's level you up. Let's boost that intelligence. Uh, computer use. Repair that awareness. Bam. Level up. Skills. That, 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 that. Feats. Uh. Yeah, just improve your blaster power. Level up. Skills. Blah, blah, blah. Blah. Except. Level up, skills, bleh, 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 bleh. Accept, level up, intelligence up, skills, bleh, 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 bleh. Alright, oh wait, bleh, there we go. Feats, gearhead, alright, nice, skills, bleh, 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 bleh. Accept and there we go. Let's see here. You can use the. Uh, let's see what. Uh, you can use this Arcanian Sonic Blaster. And uh, you can use this shield. You can use this one. Uh, this one's good, I think. Uh, let's see, self sustaining. Uh, nah, computer, eh, nah, computer, eh, nah, it's okay, I guess. Eh, okay, and, alright. Actually, what's your computer use? Okay, so yours is 24, and it's Baudur's. I think it, I think you might be higher than Baudur's. Uh, oh, shit, I, I forgot to confirm that. But, uh, what's your computer you steal? Wow, you got beaten by a two, but anyway, eh. Unless I'm gonna, yep. Slice. Turret status. Are active to set to attack. Friendlies and hostiles. Pending basically. Uh, change target priority. To attack only hostiles. Excellent. Gotta prepare for this battle. I'm going the wrong way. Every little bit helps. Hello. We've been told to provide you with anything you need. We have to keep the news of the mercenaries' plans quiet for now. We have to blast these motherfuckers. Door, security door, open up. That door is stuck. 
Oh, that's a wounded guy. What happened to you? Gun turret malfunctioned. Who does bad? Uh, I'll be going. Uh, my treat injury skills pretty shit. Not gonna lie. Uh, Bador, can you wait? Who's got the best treat injury skill? Is it you? Is, is it Bador? Uh, it's ten. That's that's okay. Oh, Kreia's one's good. Uh, Kreia, can you do it? Treat your wounds. Please don't kill him. Thanks, stranger. Whew. I should be back to duty in no time. No problem. Na 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 na. Anyway, Kreia, heal this man. Thanks, stranger. Man, I'm stacking these light side points. Da, da. Heal this man. Uh, get Thanks, the fuck stranger. back up. Here you go. You're needed for the fight. We're gonna stack our defenses as much as we can. Thanks, stranger. Bowdor, repair that fucking droid. If I can get in, can, can, excuse me. Okay, there we go. Reactivate. Automated healing sub routes. Oh, I probably could have just activated that and. That could have. Okay. Oh well. Oh well. Uh. Bador, uh Kreia. Kreia, can you craft some uh, medical supplies? Thank you. Okay. Uh. I think we need some life support back. Oh. Oh, that's that's really expensive actually. Uh. What do I have to break down? Not a lot. Oh, but I can break these down and make. Actually, yeah, I'll do that. Right. Right. Now I can make more. Oh, and some of these. All right. Excellent work. Now we can, uh, can get the get the fuck out of my way. Get the fuck out of my way. I'm your commander. Get the fight. Okay, there we go. Okay. Well, that door is jammed shut. Uh. Okay, I think that's everything. Oh no, there's another one. Open up! Broken droid. Trash planing. Okay, a lot of droid parts. Neat. Uh, any. Oh. One second. Any upgrades? No. Oh, I can put this on. I'll put this on there. Wait, I can I can modify the ropes? I did not know that. Alright, we're getting ready for war. Repair that shit. Modify programming. Okay, uh... Boop, boop, boop. Patrol mode. Leave it. Reactivate. Well, somebody was kind of tampering with the droids and reselling its parts that were extracted back to the... Hmm. Huh. Uh, i just put the shield. Ugh, okay, I'll set up this one. Shields, oh, I use too much. Right, uh, bow door. Open, wait, first extract some stuff from this and slice defense droid status. 
Set the defend friendlies pending alert status. Gauge and patrol. Oh, okay. Fair enough. Okay. We got some defenses ready. We got some droids ready for battle. Right. I think we are all set. Get ready for the biggest fire. Well, not really the biggest firefight, because. Well, the Mandalorian Wars was obviously a bigger firefight, so. Yeah. Alright, we shall save. And head to war. I was right about you. You are trouble. But you might just be the right sort of trouble we need. The mercenaries aren't quick to mobilize, so you have time to do what you need. Or are you ready to finalize the defense plan? Well, I cleared out the Kinrat cave. So you did. Here's the credit. <laughs> Even with the caves cleared, I imagine it'll take some time before the Kinrath aren't on the planes. Yep. That was very helpful of you. you saved some I forgot to submit that. Mercenaries aren't quick. I want to ask you about the salvages who died in the enclave. I know this isn't a good time, but I want that money. Salvages, no body, no claim. I'm no longer even looking at wills or credit notes. And if you think that's gruesome. I have the bodies right here. One of them had a will. Let me see the will. I'll be glad to get rid of this claim and get those salvagers out of my headquarters. Let me see. He left his claim to you. Huh? Not even. <laughs> he doesn't even give a shit. <laughs> I'll have one of the militia get the claim for you. Here's your claim. I'll go let the salvagers know that it's been taken care of. Hopefully this is the last I hear of it. <laughs> Yes, look at the lens! I have everything I need to make a lightsaber! Yes! Oh man, this is gonna be sick. It's like I'm doing everything I can to prepare for battle, and I just. <laughs> they're like, aha! Looks like this Jedi doesn't have a lightsaber. And then. <laughs> and then when, it's, when the battle actually starts, I actually pull out my brand new lightsaber. <laughs> Sweet! What's my alignment right now? Ooh, slowly descending at the dark side there. I mean, I don't really care what alignment I get. Because, eh. I only... I only care about making sure that I'm making these decisions based off my character's personality. And what they would think in this situation. Anyway, Bador, I think I have everything. Let me see what you have. That's everything. Now all you need is a little quiet time with the workbench. What kind of lightsaber you want to make? Double blade. Yeah, double bladed. Focusing crystals. Late we change. Uh, well, I know Kane had a violet one, so I guess orange. <laughs> yeah, I never had an orange one, so that works. Sweet, level up. Persuasion. Feats. Uh, let's see here. I think, do I have max empathy? Or, oh no, I don't. Uh, hmm. I think I'll get it. I think I'll increase my empathy a little bit, I think. Powers. Ooh, even more speed. Ooh, yes, please. Accept. Yes, my lightsaber. Ooh, I actually like this color. It's not red, but it's like orangey red, so it's actually pretty cool. I uh, guess. Hold on a second. I'm just gonna mod this saber a bit to make it even more powerful. Uh, what the fuck's the workbench? Okay, hold on a second. I, okay. I have a lightsaber now, so I'm ready to stab some fools. Uh, okay, no, that's not where the table is. Can you get the fucking out? Okay, there we go. Uh, master speed. Okay, I actually have a lightsaber now. <laughs> Quite a good timing, actually. <laughs> because now I can. Because now I can actually fight off these mercenaries with greater ease. And now I can upgrade it. Sweet. Alright. 
Hmm. This might be a huge crystal. Uh, hold on, I gotta. First, uh, I'm put this here. This is a good set of lenses. Uh, I don't want that minus defense bonus, so I'm gonna get that there. Ions. I like this one. Kind of for now. Hell yeah, Kreia. Yes. Have you come with questions? Can you tell me what the velvet here crystal? That crystal is bonded. Let me focus on the crystal for a moment. There, now it is fully in tune with you again. Sweet. Is you wished? Hell yeah. All right. Now let's upgrade this shit. Oh yeah. Hey hey. Sweet. This crystal's awesome. Okay, what else? Physical stun percent. Consti Ooh, constitution. Dexterity. Uh, uh, uh. I'm gonna go constitution. Boom! Yes! Yes! Oh man, what timing to get my bloody lightsaber! <laughs> Yes, to get a new lightsaber, one that is even more powerful than the one I originally had. Wh whatever it may be. And I think I can buy more crystals from that other guy. Yeah. Let me just quickly speed my way over there. Hello. Do you have any crystals? No, you don't. I think. Oh wait, I think the crystals might be over at the other camp. Eh, they're probably gonna be expensive as shit anyway. So, yeah, I'm not going to bother. All right, I think we are ready for war. Especially now that I just got a new lightsaber that's extremely powerful with all the modifications that I stuffed in it. <laughs> and I think, and I have Baldur to thank for that. Actually, before we go. Before we head into war. <laughs> Before we head to war. Let's have some character dialogue. Never mind. Okay. I think we're good then. <laughs> There's a board now. What's force channel? Oh. Well, I'm probably. No, not my she. I want she Cho. All right, let's do this. I'm pretty sure I've optimized every single set of defenses for Kunda. All right, we got a lot to do. Defenses are completely optimized. Let us battle. Since you are here to bolster Kunda's defense, I will hurry to the mercenary camp and delay their assault however I can. Oh, he's got a green lightsaber. I thought you'd have a yellow one. This whole thing. Kill me and kill the administrator. The rest of the settlers won't have courage to resist if they succeed. So what's the plan? The administrator's locked up in her office tight, which means that the mercs have to go through us and Kunza's defenses. Right. It's gonna be easy. I suspect we're gonna Well, our defenses are MV. They've got three entrances, they're gonna try and break in. There's the front door, the security door on the side. And the garage door and back. Hmm. We got three squads of militia. We can assign people to the front, back, or inside. Backside has to guard two entrances. The front will have to fight more people, and the inside will have to deal with any that break through. So, where do you think the first squad should be deployed? Can you tell me about the squads first? The squad is the most experienced. The only squad that could go blaster to blaster against the mercs. Second squad has a lot of passion but no experience. Hmm. Third squad is new and not trained too well, and they may break in combat. They need a good leader to make them effective. So, where do you think the first squad should be deployed? Whatever you think it makes. Well, I mean, I was about to I was about to ask him to do it, but then again, I am technically more experienced in ma in war, so. uh... Okay, well, I mean, it's pretty obvious I put the more experienced ones to guard the back. Yeah, because they have to defend two entrances, so... Oh, but then again... Mm. Uh, 
question is, do I put them in the back or do I put them in the... I guess assuming the wars did that. Hmm. Because they have to guard 200, so sorry. Okay. I think... I think they sh should, uh, guard the back, because prevention is better than, well, straight up. Yeah, you get the point. The yeah. battles that had the least dying were always led by Jedi. I'm gonna go with what you think. Where do you want the second squad? The first squad is the most experienced. Experience. The only squad that can go blaster to blaster against the mercs. Second squad has a lot of passion but no experience. Mm -hmm. Third squad has fresh recruits and not trained too well and they may break in combat. They need a good where do you want the second By the administrator's door. Alright, where do you want the third squad, the new recruits? Put them in the front lines. <laughs> Fine by me. The last question is where do you want to go? Either the front or the back. I'll take whichever one you don't. That way both sides have leadership. Uh I trust that you will take care of the people in the front. I'll help. I'll help. I'll try to cover the two back entrances. The back. I suppose that there is more ground to cover with the two what? entrances. All right. I'll take the front. Once the fighting starts, you gotta stay. Well, you know them. You know these guys better than I do, so I feel like you should be the one leading the these guys at the front lines. Kunda. Thanks to you, they're gonna have a tougher job. That's about it. Now we just need to dig in and wait for the mercy. I don't know. Why are you questioning that? I'm. I literally have force powers that can that have AOE. I can handle the back. <laughs> have you talked to the men? <laughs> well, I'll tell them what's there to do. I'm not much for words. I think I think they can use some encouragement. Maybe I could speak to them. All right, Persuasion, I'll baby. I hope you can speak good. Time to raise morale. No. Men. Men! This is your chance to make history! Dantooine's short history has been a constant tale of rugged people surmounting difficult odds. Never have the odds have been so great or the future so uncertain. But today is your chapter, your tale. Generations yet born will look upon the upcoming battle with pride and wonder. I will not lie, the risks are great, the threat real, but I would stand beside any one of you proudly as we face our destiny on this field of battle. This is our day, our valiant chance to free Dantooine. Who will fight with me? What was the one that? Okay, the. the words. That was really something. I think any one of them would take a blaster bolt. Hell yeah. Let's get ready for the mercenaries. If we fall here, all of Dantooine falls with us. I'll handle the back, and you better handle the front lines well. See, soldier, they're mobilizing the militia. Looks like a lot of activity down there. They've been warned. It won't be of any use. The plan doesn't change. Captains, prepare your men. Their leader, Administrator Tarina, must not survive the battle. Everything else is secondary to that objective. All right, men. Prepare to fight. Oh, they're all wearing force masks, I think. God damn it. Well, that's gonna make me hard. Actually, wait. Well, little do they know. <laughs> hey, we have uh, heavily optimized defenses. We have droids, we have turrets, we have landmines, and we have good formation, hopefully. Okay, uh. Baudor, uh. I'm sorry, but I may. I'm gonna have to bring you back into this. Into uh, another war, it may not, it's not big as the Mandalorian War, but it's a war. <laughs> uh, and I guess Korea might as well. Boop. All right, to battle. Okay, get out of my way. To battle. No, I don't want to stun that shit. All right, kill them all. Attack. Let's 
Spread out, spread out, spread out! Spread out, spread out! Wait, did they kill off one of our men? Oh, for fuck's sake. Alright, I think I've used up. Let's blast them! Blast these fools! Attack! 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 Kia! Oh my god, hit him! Fuck him up! Fuck him up, boys! Fuck him up! Are we doing well? Did any of them breach? Yeah. Okay, we lost one guy! Okay. Oh my god, they're wearing force masks. Oh my god. Hi there, uh... Hmm. Uh, hi there. Force insanity. Kill him! Kill him, boys! Kill him! Hold on a second. Uh, gotta run. Gotta move. I gotta help the other guys. <laughs> no, you idiot! Wrong guy, you fucking idiot! Oh my god, this guy! Oh my god. Why are you going after him? Stop going after him! No, you fucking idiot! Go after the other guy! This guy! Oh my god, you idiots! We're ignoring this side! <laughs> oh my god. Where's your weapon? Oh my god. We're losing men on this side. Wait, who's down? Oh my god. Baldur's down? Oh my god. I didn't realize. Oh my god, this really is a big old battlefield, huh? Uh, Kraya? Uh, you're technically free to use all your force powers. My god. Uh. Lightning. Oh my god, Baldur's down. Drain life. Okay, let me scan the battlefield for a moment. Oh my god, Kreia. Kreia, don't forget to bloody heal yourself. Have any of them breached? We've lost too many soldiers. Fall back inside. Shit. So you're the Jedi. I take it you are responsible for the surprises we've had during this battle. Yep. Stand aside. Our quarry is with the distinguished administrator. This is your You don't want to fight. Throw down your weapon. That's probably not going to work, but I'm going to try it. Fuck. I was trained by the Sith. My unit killed many huh. Jedi. I'll give you one last chance. Leave the administrator to her fate. And why the fuck do you want her dead? She's inconvenient and doesn't know the chain of command. She will pay for that. I'm not gonna let you kill her. Then you've allied with these flaming settlers. The galaxy doesn't tolerate weakness. I was trained at Malak's Academy. Your tricks won't work on me. Oh, trained by Malak. Yeah, that's what the Sorry others say before they was. But it looks like I've arrived in time to pull you out of your predicament. Hello. 
Right then, uh... Force Insanity. Kill him. Yeah, I like how they just didn't realize the three shielded droids right behind them. Oh my god. Harder, I thought I could get a level up. Boop, 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 boop. Okay, uh, that's it. Feats. I'm gonna improve your two weapon fight. Oh, the love up, neat. Attributes. Yep. High charisma. Skills. High charisma as well. Powers. I'm not gonna get force wave to this force wall when I think it's better. Uh, let's see here. Um. I could do that. Uh, Sonic Scream. Heal. Eh. Seeing that I'm slowly descending to the dark side, I might as well go pick up. Uh, hmm. Okay. Uh, or to take a. I don't think I had force stroke. I don't think. Um, I have a feeling I might be encountering more Jedi soon, so. Uh, uh, I just force wound and probably level up to choke. All right. All right, they're all dead, I think. Thank you so much for your aid. You can be sure that Dondoin will not forget how the Jedi protected us from this. The Jedi. Eh, it was just one Jedi actually. I'm actually considered an outcast by other Jedi. I'm sorry to offend you. Oh no, it's no problem. And I am very grateful to you. Happy to help. We are a humble community, and this conflict has greatly diminished our resources. I hope this reward will be sufficient. Keep the money and use okay nah, that will do. You again, brave Jedi. Now if you'll excuse me, I have much work to do. Don Tuin will be slow to rebuild, but I am confident now that we will one day achieve prosperity. Sweet. Kunda is safe in no small part due to you. I feel certain that the administrator wouldn't have made it without your assistance. I may have misjudged you. In any case, I am free to talk about whatever you wish. Where are all the Jedi? There are a few of us left. I do not even know if the others still live. We may be the last. We have been forced to divide our forces and retreat to places which will be difficult for our enemies to detect and attack. Where are the other Jedi? We have chosen to hide our presences from each other so that the discovery of one will not endanger the others. How do you contact each other then? We cannot. 
We have resolved not to until we have found where the Sith are striking from. But even as our numbers thin, there is still a force of them. We had hoped to outmaneuver them by letting them believe themselves victorious. We thought they would become bold and step from the shadows. And what then? Then, all of us who remained vowed to meet here on Dantooine. From here, we can plan a course of action and carry the battle to them. But so far, they remain in hiding, and Jedi continue to vanish and die. I wish to talk about something else. You have more questions for me? What happened to the Jedi? We are at war, but it is unlike any war we have fought before. We have yet to even meet our attackers in battle. Somehow, our enemy is targeting us through the Force, striking, then retreating to the shadows. The gathering of any Jedi seems to attract them like a beacon. So it was necessary to divide our forces and conceal ourselves for a time until we could learn more of this threat. Why did you come to Dantooine? Great tragedies. Oh. Places of suffering all leave wounds on the galaxy and in the force. In such places, the deaths of so many echo. So much so that it is difficult to center oneself. By coming here, those echoes serve to mask my presence, allowing me to investigate the ruins and try to find some clues as to who our attackers are. But if you can master your presence here, couldn't the other Jedi do it as well? The Mira Luka world of Qatar taught us a terrible lesson. Many Jedi were there in an attempt to use the Force to find the location of the enemy. Oh. Our planet is no more. Oh. As is our Master Dorak. And many more perished there. And we do not know why or how. But all Wait, is Shaw the Yoda one? <laughs> oh no. not on Qatar when it was destroyed, but now that it is dead. It was after Qatar that the few of us left realized that wherever we gathered, we were placing others in danger, not just Jedi. You have more. Why are you hiding? Or yeah, I need to know why the fuck you cast me out of the order. Because you defied the council. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's the real reason? And from that war came another. Do you know how many worlds were destroyed in those wars? Dantooine, Telos, Sirocco. Do you see now why we counseled caution instead of action? You were the only one to come back and face judgment. But that was because you had lost your connection to the Force. Another casualty in the war. No doubt you still blame us for your exile. I had hoped your isolation would give you time to reflect on what had happened, what you had done. But I see it is not. You have more questions for me? Why did you cut me off from the force? We did nothing to you. Accuse us if you will, but it will not change the truth. Cutting one off from the force. Such punishments are reserved for only a few. Although it was within our power, we did not inflict such a loss upon you. Your loss was a casualty of war. No more. Then what the fuck happened to me? <laughs> Perhaps that is a question you should ask yourself. It is not something that might could even Oh, okay. Hey, Velvet, do you know what? Do you know why you lost your connection to the Force? I don't know, me, because I don't know. It just happened. Oh. Oh, too bad. Oh, oh, I really wish I'd know. Oh, yeah, me too. I would like to know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go fuck yourself, Rook. Perhaps it's Dantooine, but I do not feel such for you. I feel nothing but what I felt in the Council Judgment Chamber on Coruscant so long ago. Still, you and your. Connections were often a subject of debate in the council. It is possible that returning to known space, journeying with others, has caused the force to stir within you again. Do you have more questions for me? Do you know anything about force bonds? Force bonds? Yes. It is the bond that grows between master and student. Are you saying you are bonded with another? Yes, and the connection's bloody lethal. Such bonds normally grant strength to both, but not to such a degree. Are you certain? Perhaps it is merely what you believe. Still, 
Your ability to form such connections, to influence others, was always a subject of discussion, even when you were a student here. Perhaps it is a punishment of a sort. But a bond that ties two lives together, such bonds do not seem unnatural to me. And with your loss of connection to the Force, it seems such a connection would be impossible. Yet I have re-established my connection to the Force. Perhaps it is Dantooine, but I do not feel such for you. I feel nothing but what I felt in the Council Judgment Chamber on Coruscant so long ago. Still, you and your connections were often a subject of debate in the Council. It is possible that returning to known space, journeying with others, has caused the Force to stir within you again. You have more questions for me? At the end of the trials, you and the other masters said something about an anomaly that happened to me. What the hell was it? You have seen the end of your trial. Perhaps you would like to explain how you came to this knowledge. I heard it in a hollow transcription of my trial. That was intended only for the Jedi Council. If what remains of the Council chooses to tell you, then I will abide by their decision. And its consequences. Don't you think I have the right to know? There's little I can tell you. Master Kavar felt something had happened to you in the war, but all he had was suspicions, not truths. And Kavar was too close to you in any event. He, too, felt the call of war and took to battle more than a Jedi should. His speculations would not help you now, but enough of this. It is knowledge for the Council alone until they choose to reveal it. Do you have more questions for me? Well, the Sith seem to have revealed themselves. Have they? I've seen no evidence of them upon Dantooine. Only murderers and raiders. They exist. They've already attacked me. Why would they attack you? There are no Jedi. You cannot feel the Well, they don't know the bloody difference. <laughs> I do not know, but I think I'm a Jedi. They're fucking idiots. Your trial was not public knowledge. Regardless, these Sith have struck and you survived. This is more knowledge than I had before. And that means the Jedi may gather. If you can find others or find some trace of the Sith threat, then we shall gather here on Dentu. And from there we may decide what can be done. You have more questions for me? I'm going now. I suppose there is something I should show you. It will keep you alive long enough to prove you. Oh. Watch and learn. Oh. This form is a taru. A taru? Because it is such an aggressive fighting style, you should only use it against single opponents. Mm. Don't try using this form amidst mm. heavy fire. Nothing is more embarrassing for a Jedi than to be cut down by a stray blaster shot. Huh. 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 Yeah. Thank you, Master Rook. <laughs> I don't know how you learned that so quickly. Still, your form is sloppy. Keep practicing to tighten it up and you'll be fine. So not taught. Wait, did I get another? Oh, that was weird. Anyway. Kreia. Yes. Have you come with questions? Yes. Very well. What is it that drives you? The lightsaber form. The Jedi practice many forms. You may have already felt others may. Tell me your Soresu. A defensive technique, but effective. Use it if you do not wish to be hit, or if you are facing many opponents. You know, I probably could have actually used Soresu, <laughs> now that I think about it. <laughs> I probably could have used it in the mercenary fight, because I've been just using Shicho. Oops. Uh, what can you tell me about Ataru? Ah, one of the techniques you've learned from the Masters. This technique is good against a lone opponent, and you will find your critical strikes are more effective, but you will be vulnerable to almost everyone else you are fighting. Others may come with time, with experience. Very well. Very well. Force Very forms. Well. 
The one that allows me to focus the force. It allows you to recover your strength with the force more quickly, and it lends strength to your force powers. It has no other drawbacks. Such a form is a gift, preferred at the Jedi Consulates, and effective in combats where you must fight only through the force. Hmm. Are we going now? Well, uh, that was quite a firefight. Let's get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Wow, some of these mercs were hooked up on drugs. Not surprised. Not surprised. Anyway, uh... Let's save. And, uh... Yeah, back to the ship if I can. If I can oh, there's no button for that. I can't... Okay, I gotta run all the way back. Alright. Let's run back to the ship. To the next planet, whatever it may be. I'll have to decide. After... Some character dialogue. Unnecessary oh. observation. Targets acquired. God damn it. Recitation. Let us proceed. Wow. Okay. Recitation. Was not expecting that, but okay. Oh my god. You fuckers again. Uh force lightning and uh yeah. I uh, might as well use, uh, Soresu. Oh, that's not good against many opponents. Uh, yeah. Ah, uh, whatever. Heal. Oh, oh, no. Do you have any HK parts? Nice. I think I probably have everything to fix HK-47 now. <laughs> because of all these HK-50s are jumping me. Alright. Oh, enter character dialogue. Or not. Hello, Disciple. Can't believe that's your name. What are you studying? I have. It's not just the hardships of the people, but something more. It's difficult to turn away from the suffering of others. That is why one must help when they can. Or actually, can they? I guess Velvet would have a pick number two, because yeah, she she knows she can't save everyone. You are right. But there is something more at work here. What do you mean? The attacks on Katara, Tilo's itself, the decay on Dantooine. Something is wrong, but I cannot pinpoint what. It's like their connections have become sickened, damaged. Sometimes I feel like I almost understand, and then slips away. More dialogue? Oh no, okay. Hello, HJ. We install the processor. Boop. The damage chassis. Hmm. Initialize control cluster. There's a low hum within the droid. The sound of the circuit sparking was storing power throughout the droid system. Diagnostic. HK 47 activated. Running checks through primary systems. Assessment. It appears I have suffered considerable damage and dismemberment. I can feel all the cracks in my motivators. And my central control cluster seems to have taken several repeated blaster shots at close range. How crude. What were you doing in the storage hold? <laughs> I do not know, Master. It is curious that I was here. <laughs> Got something against HK? <laughs> Extrapolation. Perhaps someone was already in the process of rebuilding me. It may be I was needed for some task. Are you okay? Answer. If by okay, you mean 
the loss of almost all my existing assassination Oof, he got nerfed. <laughs> I am not okay. Furthermore, I seem to have no discretionary control over my vocabulator, causing me to reveal my true function as an assassin droid of unrivaled sophistication. <laughs> you know, yeah. Uh, Looked like a series of droids that have attacked me. Answer. Oh, that is impossible, master. If I were out to kill you, we would not be speaking. And regardless, I am a unique model. Why to think that there would be other versions of me would be unacceptable. Well, there's at least four other def other uh, now de defunct versions of you in the galaxy. Statement, Master. I must inform you. No, no, I'm not kidding. There's actually other models of you. Such as I, as I have expressed, I am unique. Actually, there's a series of HK-50 units sharing our model and function that we have encountered on multiple occasions. Resignation. Very well, Master. If you persist in your attempts at humor, I shall indulge you. Let me check the ship's records, then we will settle this matter once and for all. Conclusion. You speak the truth. <laughs> this oh, he's pissed. Me some degree of anger and humiliation. In fact, you're even using some of their parts. <laughs> Mockery. Am I all right? Oh, yes, master. Why, I am fine. Statement. I mean, I've only just been reactivated, only to find that there are substandard duplicates of me running all over the galaxy, corroding my good name. But if they are in fact hunting you, then I look forward to the opportunity to meet these units and educate them in proper assassination protocols. Conclusion. So it seems I need you, for the time being. So you're an assassin droid. Recitation. Yes. As I said, I am an assassin droid. It is my primary function to burn holes through meat bags that you wish removed from the galaxy. Master, oh how I hate that term. What meat bag? Answer. No, master. Uh, I said it again. Are you ready to serve me then? <laughs> Answer. Yes. HK-47 is ready to serve. Sweet. Query, is that... I just have some questions. Statement. Oh, you... Variation. Statement. Oh, yes, master. It's not an interrogation, I just want to ask you some questions. Statement. Very well, Master. But if you wish to be brutal and vicious about it, know that I am trained for such things. Do your worst. After the interrogations already, when I ask you questions, I mean I will ask questions without torturing you. Statement. Master, I am no behavior droid. But it is obvious to me that you have serious ethical problems that will need to be treated at some point. Very well. Ask your questions. If you feel the need to make it an interrogation, however, do not restrain yourself. I would be saddened if you held back. I want to talk about the other HK units. Statement. Ah, yes. Them. Very well. What did you wish to know? Do you know where these clones are being created? Answer. Master, I do not know. I have tried in vain to find it, but so far the location of the factory churning out these copies has eluded me. But how did this happen? Statement. I have no idea, Master. I need? What was that? Sound like a malfunction. Statement. Oh no, Master. Surely you are mistaken. I would never malfunction in such a way on purpose. Are you sure you don't know where they're striking from? Prompt. Do you understand me? I have no idea. It certainly isn't a matter of it being locked in my memory core and being unable to communicate it to others. And how would this information come out if it was locked in your memory core? Answer. 
I fear that any such information that exists would only come out when a certain sequence of events takes place. That is why I am eager to encounter more of these clones in the hopes that something clicks that allows me to finally pull the trigger. I need to know about these clones of yours. Statement. What of them? Do you know why they are hunting me? Answer. Well, Master, it seems you have become a popular individual in the galaxy. This is somewhat surprising to me, since this dissemination of information could not have been caused by your actions alone. What do you mean? Statement. Master, there is mention of you specifically in the Corward databases, even in public terminals uh. on Coruscant. Observation. I was led to believe that this information concerning Jedi was not for public consumption, yet somehow it has been made known to them. Why would someone do that? Conclusion. Someone wants everyone to know that you exist, Master, and that you are back in Republic space. If I did not know better, which is computationally impossible, I believe that someone wants to make you a target, and they are succeeding admirably. Who? Answer. Master, my feeling would be the exchange. But that doesn't seem to be enough to answer the question, however. Rhetorical. Why wouldn't they have simply kept the information to themselves? Such an answer does not address the central question. And that is, why someone would choose to broadcast your location all over the known galaxy? Theory. My suspicion is that someone is using you as bait for a larger target, who is unknown at this time. Hmm. And some other questions. Statement. Ah, more questions. Wonderful. How did you get scattered all over the galaxy? <laughs> Theory. Well, Master, I believe I was shot repeatedly. Once reduced to my component parts, I suspect pieces of me... Oh, no. Yeah. ...were sold across the galaxy. Statement. I am an extremely valuable piece of equipment after all, Master. My parts were no doubt costly to obtain, and Well, I mean, I got, like, most of them from parts. killing off your copies. <laughs> It was something a pain, yes. Statement. That is indeed unfortunate. I mean, I got really like half of them from killing off your clones. I would be most distressed <laughs> if you were to shoot me, attack me, or dismember me in any way. I do not wish to. Yeah, it was. I have no intentions of doing that. State. What was your previous master? master Fuck. Ironically enough, I seem to have developed a sudden bout of memory loss. I shall struggle to recall an answer to your question. Oh, let me guess. It was Revan. Oh, oh no. Oh, I figured it out. Besides, you are a fine master. Do not be worried about being rendered insignificant if I were to inadvertently compare to some silly old master I once possessed. Statement. Do you know anything about the Sith hunting us? Any idea where they might be striking from? Answer. No, Master. The Sith had many hidden bases and strongholds before and during the Jedi Civil War, and I doubt the Republic found them all. Theory. It is possible that the Sith still hold one such base, if not several. Consolation. But I would not worry, Master. I imagine it will not be long before their murderous hands try to seize you by the throat. Twi'lek metaphor. Don't abosi. You can say that again. Query, Master, excuse me, but how is it you know so many languages? I picked up a Sonic and Prince Sense on Paragus. It doubles as a translator. Query, may I see it? Why? Answer, because it seems to know all the languages I do, and I am feeling degrees of familiarity and inferiority both at once. <laughs> Alright. Observation. This is indeed familiar. Indeed, it seems to be modeled after my vocabulator, with some modifications, of course. 
curious. You say you obtained this device on Paragus. Yeah, sure, before the planet was destroyed. Observation. Master, I do believe this device serves multiple functions, including... What? For any HK units in the vicinity. What do we do with it, then? Observation. Master, I do believe this device serves multiple functions, including tracking your position. It Wait, that's how they know where they are? Wait, uh, uh, that's how they know where I am? What the fuck? So we just So we just wait? What? Master, the nature of the signal from the sonic imprint sensor is such that we must wait until it is signaled. It does not please me any more than it does you. But one of the primary traits of an assassin or assassin droid is patience. And some other questions. For sophisticated droid, you don't seem as advanced as you should be. <laughs> Master, you wound me. Not physically, but in my behavior core. It is true that I once possessed many more protocols and upgrades. But time and damage has taken its toll. And I am afraid that I have a rather long history of memory problems, which has also compromised my effectiveness as well. Still, you will find me a valuable asset, Master. Willing and able to terminate anything you point me towards. State. And this new. On theory, console tweet. State. I want to talk about the other HD units. Sonic Input Sensor. I believe it is a passive tracking device designed to relay our position to HK units in the area. So, what do we do with it? Master, I have a suspicion all we need to do is wait. They will come to us, I believe. And if they... Okay. Answer. Master, that it does not... Okay. How many more do we intend to gather to us? This ship is not the galaxy. Uh. There is only so much room. It's not my fault if they follow me. <laughs> is it? Perhaps you are wrong. They will follow you because you are a leader. Their kind always needs such, even when the figure deserves no such obedience. What makes you think they obey me? Because I am not blind, that is why. I see what they see, hear their voices when they speak to you, and notice the change when they speak to others. How do you know that? I know many things, and I know what I am not. I am no leader. I speak with a voice that will never move others. I speak with a passion that goes unheard. They obey you because you are a leader, and perhaps something more. Have you noticed what has been happening? Have you felt it in them? I did notice their behavior somewhat changing. Atten especially. The fool dances in your shadow for your favor. The disciple, he worships you quietly. The alien obeys you. Even within the machines, there are echoes. Watch them carefully. See their patterns and recognize the strength in it. Influence can be a weapon, one that you may need before your journey is done. You have a point. I will reflect upon this. Good, and then act upon it. It is a powerful tool. Influence. That was Revan's way, I believe. It was a strength. Oh, what do you mean? Have you never asked yourself how Revan took the Republic and Jedi? Oh, yes. Because he was a leader. Ah, but to make officers turn on their own people. To bomb innocent worlds, to make pacts. Strong influence, indeed. And where did these Sith teachings come from? 
And why did Revan embrace them so strongly? So many questions, yet the answers are few. I thought the teachings of the Sith came from Torabon. Oh, did they? No. Revan met no Sith Empire, yet he learned their teachings. Many have mistaken the soldiers beneath Revan, the machines that were constructed to be the Sith. They are wrong. The Sith is a belief. And what Revan formed was not an empire, but something else. Yet how he did it is curious. And I suspect the answer to that question is tied to another. How was Revan able to corrupt so many so quickly? Do you have any ideas? Not a one. But we shall see where our journey takes us, I think. And see how many answers we come across, yes. And other questions. Ask. If the Jedi Council had casted you out, how come each of none of the Jedi men uh, Masters mentioned you? Ignorance. And perhaps they do not remember or care. It is of no consequence to me or to them. Are you certain? Do not let them discover what makes you what you are before you do, or the consequences for the galaxy will be terrible. Why? Because you learned to live without the Force, and that is something that the galaxy is not ready to accept. I had other questions. Ask. Did you know Revan? I misspoke before. Fuck! Alright. Alright, I just gained dark side points overall. Oh, what the fuck. Oh. No, stop. Stop that. No. Camera panic, what are you doing? Oi. 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 Can you fix it? Oi. Oi. Stop that. Stop. Keep. St stop panning. Oh wait, I got another save lightsaber. What the hell? Huh. I was not expecting this. So I actually did get another lightsaber, but from who? Okay then. Weird. Oh, wait, there you are. I was hoping to find you. Do you know what the HA droid in the cargo bay came from? That's not, that doesn't sound very convincing. Are you sure you don't want me to know? Uh, how's the Evan Hulk? Do you have any? Oh. Can you give me the list of Jedi Masters again? Down to Wayne. Says Kael. Kaba. Honduran. Thash. Korriban. Yeah, there's Tilos. Why did you download this from Atrus's database? Oh no, I'm not angry. I wish you left the database before you left. <laughs> Actually, hmm. Well, be careful about going into unauthorized systems. Don't want you to get hurt. Is that all? Alright. Hey, I say points and and influence. So can you tell me now? 
All right, here we go. Progress. We were trying to rebuild him. Why? To protect me, but the, that's an assassin droid. A deranged assassin droid. I'd rather have your help. And that's it. Yeah, I understand that you're not a combat mo- Alright. Alright, where's Jetta from? Any idea on how its parts got spread all over the galaxy? Right, okay. Hey, more D3 points. Uh... Neat. Atten? Something up? I have some questions. All right. Never mind. <laughs> uh, okay. Well, where to next? I guess to Onderon because, well. According to the Master Rook, he did tell Velvet that I think it was Kavar who who was the one who sent something off from Velvet, and the others could not pick up on it. So yeah, she wants her. She thinks he might be the next best thing to telling her what the fuck was going on in that trial. What truly was beneath the surface of her exile. Here we go! Off we go! To space! To Onderon! To find Master Kavar! Here we go! And light speed! And there we go. Oh yeah, I should probably... I don't know. Eh. Well, this is Onderon. Looks like there's a long line to get into the Isis starport. Something feels wrong here. A great disturbance here in orbit, and again on the planets below. I guess this blockade oh. is a symptom of larger problems on Onderon. Looks like we're about to find out. I'm receiving a message from some Colonel Tobin. Okay. Catching through. The Ebon Hawk. I was told to expect your arrival. I don't know your business on Onderon, but it ends here. What? Uh, wait, what? What's going on? Uh, oh shit. Oh fuck. <laughs> uh, yeah, Atten, you might want to get us the fuck out of here. We've taken some hits. We can try to fight back, or I can outrun them and hide us on the jungle moon nearby. It's your call. We're severely outnumbered. We're severely outnumbered. We need a fucking dip. <laughs> That's an entire fleet up there. We are not going to be able to take on all of them. <laughs> yeah, that's what Velvet would say because obviously, well, she knows she knows a battle that she can't win. I mean, she's grew up on the streets. She fucking knows. <laughs> You know, just once I wish someone was glad to see us. But no, if it isn't weapons pointed at our heads, it's someone trying to blast us out of the sky. I remember the days when welcoming committee used to mean something, without being followed by blaster bolts. Where did we land? Looks like one of the moons of Onderon. Not sure which one. It's mostly jungle and mountain. I did pick up the remains of an old outpost near here. Maybe that's why there's all these clearings around. Maybe they were once settlements. There were no settlements here. Those clearings were most likely once craters or crash sites. Crash sites? This is Duxon. 
where the Mandalorians began oh. their crusade against the Republic. Oh. The remains of whatever outposts you detected here are military ones. You should be careful. This is where the Mandalorian War started? This doesn't look like much of a battlefield. Much is buried here, and there is much that should remain buried. How badly is the ship damaged? It's taken a little damage, but nothing too serious. Ooh. I'm shutting down. Good thing I made the call to get. <laughs> It'll keep us from being a target. What now? Well, the space battle's still going on overhead. Since they were so eager to use our hull for target practice, I doubt they're just going to forget us. Well, I don't like it. Onderon is about as far from the core as you can get and still be in the Republic. But even out here, the locals have heard of us. We're lucky I was able to find this place to land. Looks like something has cleared away the jungle in a few spots around here. We need to get to Onderon, though. Until the ship is repaired, we're not going anywhere. Unless you can find another route to Onderon, we should sit tight. There may be a means to get to Onderon by another route. The Force has guided us here for a reason. We should explore our surroundings. There is... something here. Something? Oh, there's something here, all right. Predators. Not small flit darters, but big, mean, nasty predators. Nevertheless, we should explore our surroundings. And that nearby outpost would be as good a place as any to begin. Let's head to the outpost then. Well, if you go, be careful. No telling what other ships were forced down in the battle. I have a feeling the ship will not be repaired until our business here is concluded. Do I make myself clear? Yeah, I understand. What's so important about this place? This is where the Mandalorian Wars began. She fought here once, and there are things here she must see. She fought here? Why didn't she say anything? Do you speak of all your battles? Or are there some you wish to forget? True. Boop. Anyway. Uh. Hello, Baldor. Yes, General. Never mind. Uh, is there anything else to... I don't think there is. Uh, okay, uh, I think we're all set. Uh, I think my crystals are good. Uh, okay, let's get the fuck out of here. Okay, so Ant can come with us because he's repairing the ship. Actually, wait, why is Baudor done? Okay, well, I, I was thinking Baudor could repair the ship because, well, I mean... <laughs> I mean... He's a specialist in, well, many sorts of technology, but okay then. Uh, hmm. Uh, I'll take you and... I guess... Korea. Just to mix things up a little bit. Last two. Uh, okay. Uh, you have that. Attributes. You have horrible constitutions. <laughs> I think we need to crank that a bit up, but I think we should increase your armor class a little bit. Yeah, you specialize in blasters. What is this? Droid interference. With other droids, you don't speak the same sentient language. Okay. I feel like that's story elements from that. Skills. Set. Level up. Skills. Neat. Uh, let's see here. I could use some more toughness, because I imagine you'd be somewhat frail. I right, dexterity, skills, beats. I guess master blaster. Need. Oh, well. Let's 
see here. You're gonna need that on this. Nah, that's better for you. You need that. And this. This is good. This is good. And you need a better rifle. Yeah, this one's... This is a rifle, that's a pistol. Yeah, give me this one. Get ready for war! Yeah, let's blast the rifle. Get ready for battle. Sweet. Now then, uh, hmm, okay, so I think my party's good for now, I suppose. Alright, left or right? I'll go left. Oh, this is the dead end, or, oh, it's those bloody canucks. Gonna stab him. Time to stab some canucks. Excellent work. Keep going. Oh, this is a dead end. Or not. It's not a dead end, in the least. Hello. What are those? I'm just gonna cast some insanity. Is that a Malras? Looks like a cheetah. <laughs> right then. Oh, some remains. It swallowed an entire blaster? How the hell did that not choke? What? Most of the ship's systems are powered down, so that's about all I got. That ship may have landed nearby, though. Or it may be on the other side of the moon. So you might want to prepare for another friendly Onderon welcome. Thanks for the tip. Oh. Let us go. Right there. Man, what the fuck are they eating? They just swallowed two grenades. How is it not dead? Hey, anything in there? Uh, salvageable parts. Ooh, nice rusted computer port. Uh, hey Shay, I think repair is your specialty. Where is that bloody monitor? Oh, there it is. There it is. There it is. Access remote droids. Droid. Aid.
system commands, repair, computer code, core, sorry. Right then, I believe I did see a... Oh, there's a corpse. Dead Republic pilot. Revan says we must take Duxan. Our wing of military droid carriers are to fly in and fly in low and drop our payload onto the jungle moon. Once the droids hit the dirt side, they'll seek the Mandalorian base and pave their way for the, our ground troops and the Jedi. We expect a heavy resistance. And if the droids can't take out this anti the anti-turrets, this is going to be one short mission. But we cannot fail. If we do, the public is lost. Nice. I believe there was a droid somewhere. Yeah. Hello. Repair. How many parts do I have? Uh, I'll just give you shields and patrol. Nice. Well, you go ahead and kill what's ever had. Oh, looks like it's already begun to kill. Anyway, uh, let's see. Anything else down this path? Oh, look, another bloody cannock. Zap. Yeah. Alright, they're dead. It swallowed a shield. Seriously, what is this? The strength of their trachea. <laughs> okay, and this leads way back to our ship. Okay. Alright, let's go. Four speed away. Sorry, Aisha, you're gonna have to catch up. <laughs> that droid better have done his job. I gave it shield so it wouldn't have a high risk of dying. Oh, it's already dead. So much for that. Stab it. Eh. It's dead. Oh, there's another one. Two of them, actually. Oh, nice. Oh, is it just me or is she sending it to the light side, surprisingly? Huh. Anyway, uh. Yeah. We're good here. Beats. Uh, well, Master Dueling's good. Good for the long time. Uh, choke. Oh, I have two. Uh, hmm. This Valor. I think there was another droid here. Yep. Okay, let's experiment. Uh, optimize weaponry, shields, patrol mode. Leave it alone. Oh, neat. Skills. Awareness. Repair and demolitions. Boop. And I thought I got Master Blaster. Or did I get something else? What did I get? I think I might have gotten toughness. Uh Huh. Okay, well I'm gonna put that in. Right. Just gonna wait for that droid to move ahead of us. What's in this one? Shiny shield. Alright, blast him! But 
Okay then. <laughs> Seems so a poor aim. Oh, killed one of them. Nicely done. Orbital fighting just ended. Oh. That Colonel Tobin stirred up a Minox nest when he took a shot at us. I'm still working on the repairs, and I have to take down some systems, including sensors. So you have to do without me for a while. I know, you're crushed. <laughs> Thank you. I sense something. Kraya? Actually, they could be exchange thugs. Prepare for battle. Actually, I'm probably gonna need a different shield for this. Gonna go Arcanian. And here we have an Arcanian shield, and yeah, yeah. Back and here we go. I sense them. Ooh, HK. I have an idea. Get ready to fuck them up. Well, get on it. Oh. Oh, I see why. <laughs> I didn't- oh. I'm an idiot. I- I should not- uh, oh, I just wasted a bunch of parts. <laughs> should I go back to the ship? Is there a fast travel option? I don't think there is. Ah, whatever. Looks like we have to deal with it ourselves. God damn it. Hi. Yeah, that's what the last one said. <laughs> Why the fuck are you hunting me? Ah, of course. And who are you? The Zanti Zug. That's what the last one said. Yeah, I never heard of you. Yeah, no, nah, I ain't gonna surrender to you, man. Okay. Just gonna. Uh. Is it? There it is. Ah, they all resisted apparently. Very well. Yeah, that was a big mistake for them to do that. Tell me, was it worth it? No, because you're fucking dead. Good job, you asshole. Yeah, where are these cocky ass bounty hunters? Jungle of Duxon. You let the ship escape? I will deal with your failure later, Captain. But for now, find that ship. Our 
Beast's ally has indicated that the Jedi hasn't left the system yet. Send a detachment to Duxon. If you find anything, alert me immediately. Now get out of my sight. Oh. Let us end this. Are those more HK droids? Oh boy. Hello there. Diagnostic? For some reason, I cannot fire. Obvious statement. This was not anticipated. I am attempting to access my weapon system, uh. and I cannot. Alarmed embarrassment. If this gets back to the other units, we will be decommissioned. Uh. Okay. Where's HJ? What are you, HJ? What are you doing? Oh, is he hacking into their systems? Oh, okay, that makes sense. Anyway. Also, Kraya, you have the destroy droids option. Use it. What are you? What the? I. And they're uh, here. Persuasion up. Feats. Eh, what do I go for Gal with this time? Well, I know she's proficient in lightsabers now, but I feel. Hmm. Hmm. I guess Master Power Attack. Just to get that one out of the way. Force powers. Hmm. Time to get force choking, I guess. Oh. Master power attack. Hello, HJ. Just some questions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why would the Mandalorians return here? The past has a curious attraction to us all. Perhaps he came in a small shuttle to revisit old battlegrounds. Perhaps not. But let us press forward. We may find the answers you seek. Hmm. It's on him. Okay. Hmm. Well, we must continue.
What the hell? Oh. What are you doing here on Dachshund? <laughs> Our ship crashed and we were forced to land here. Aye aye, Kreia. Lead on then. Hello there. So you're the intruder. Our sensors picked up your handiwork in space. I am Mandalore, leader of the Mandalorians. What is this place? This used to be the heart of the Mandalorian war effort. From this complex we commanded an armada that had the Republic on the run. It didn't last. Why is she use Duxin? Mandalorians have a rapport with this jungle. Every moment <laughs> All creatures gripped in a constant war for survival. The sole purpose of the weak is to feed the strong. We train here and learn the lessons of the jungle. The beasts also help us keep our edge. Also, the Mandalorians are disbanded. They're scattered, perhaps. But we're still alive. Alive and rebuilding. Uh, the Mandalorian Mandalorians are just blasted for hire. Many Mandalorians have fallen from the path of honor. Are now no more than common mercenaries, but that is changing. I'm trying to get to Andra, you know, I can get get there from here. So it's transportation you want. It so happens I have a small shuttle that's more than capable of running the Andoran military blockade. I make occasional trips to Isis for information and supplies. If you want to go with me, you're going to have to prove your worth. And how will I do that? Figure it out yourself. Ask around. See if you can make yourself useful, or something that'll show what you're made of. I'll see what I can do. I'll let Kex know that you check out. We found more gear than we can use, so you can trade with him if you need some more supplies. Got Be it. careful in the jungle. Our patrols have stopped until the space traffic dies down. The challenging beasts have been cleared from the area, but what's left might still be too much for you. Hmm. Want. Nothing, how we going? I thought that was the exit, not gonna lie. Oh, lamp station. Yeah. yeah. Make some drugs. <laughs> uh okay. Yeah, it's pretty much useless to us at this point, so just gonna make some of these and some of these. I will have to do all there. All right. Huh. Going on. Taking over everything. All right. Stand back. Let's see if that. 
Oh. Anything I can help with? This jungle attacks anything made by man. Restoring the generators and computer systems is no easy task. Maybe I can help. I'm trying to remove myself to Mandalore. You're trying to help Mandalore. If you can fix the power problem I'm having, I'll put in a good work for you. I'll take whatever help I can get. Whatever wires and tech can be corroded by the jungle or at least ten years. I'm trying to get the relay dish operational, but several components are broken and need repair. Without the relay, we're vulnerable to attack, especially right now. Your space metal may have attracted unwanted attention, and our shuttle sensors can't cover the whole moon. So what should I start working on? Oh, it seems just about everything involved with a relay dish is broken. I've been trying to fix it for weeks and still no success. If you think you can help, there's the broken cables right over there, and the relay maintenance structures behind me. You can find the telemetry computer in there. The only thing I know for sure is we need a new phase pulse converter for the tracking computer. And where can I find one? We actually already found one in an old weapons cache, but flaming cannot it. <laughs> uh, so how do I find it? Just got every cannock you come across. Got it. Yeah. Oh, I do. <laughs> I found a few grenades in one. I'll start looking. I'll start looking. Right, Come back when you have the converter and we can see about getting these systems working again. Broken wires. Take a lot of steel to repair them. Uh, HK, you do it. <laughs> The broken power cables. To hear it. I've been low on parts, otherwise I would have been able to get to that. Neat. Hello, Tex. What do you want? Is there some sort of problem? No, no problem. I just don't know why Mandalore let you roam free. I don't trust you. I'm Kex, the new quartermaster. If a Mandalorian needs something, they come to me. Mandalore's ordered me to let you have access to our supplies, including some military-grade surplus. It's not free, though. You can pay with credits or trade in some of your gear. Doesn't matter to me. Let's see what you have. Well, I don't need this. Don't really need that. Don't really need this. Horse pike. Yeah. As for blasters, by far. Eh. Sonic Pistol, that shit. This is Disruptor. Pretty much shit. Sith Disruptor, kind of shit. Not gonna lie. Eh, actually, no, I'll keep it. Uh, that's fine. Maybe Blaster. Eh. Redox Blaster. Hmm. I'll delete that. What do you got? Hmm. I'll just buy some of these. Alright. Thank you. Hello? Where are you? I'm Zarga. I instruct our RAR Mandalorian recruits in the ways of discipline and battle. I sent one of my warriors, Kumas, into the jungle. It's been three days, and I want you to bring back his corpse and his survival pack. 
When do you want the body? Good point. I don't want his body, just his equipment. Field strip the corpse and bring the gear I back. think I already did that. I'll keep an eye for the body. I think I already found his body. No, I'm still exploring. Hmm. You have amplifier belts. I don't think you have anything. Oh, that's good. In fact, I might need that. <laughs> I'll see. Opponents. Sith mask. Well, it's heavy armor, but eh. Shiny Viber sword. Telemetry computer. Yes, master. Wait, I don't think any of us are good at computers. Uh, I don't think anybody. Uh, oh, good thing I can switch characters. Oh, no, never mind. Never mind. Who has the best computer skill? <laughs> Not you. You have decent. Okay, so. Eh, whatever. Neat. Why, hello, Sergeant. Jedi comes to grace us. The battle circle is reserved only for real warriors. Your Jedi ways won't help you here. Who are you? For today, I have the honor of commanding the battle for circle. I decide who fights who and make sure all the rules are followed. What's the battle circle? The battle circle is only a small part of our training regiment. A full Mandalorian warrior is a master of many fighting techniques. And here, all of them are tested. If you were to compete, you would have to do so on our terms, for that is the way of the battle circle. Those with great honor decide the terms of engagement. Jedi rely too much on their bonds and power. They lose touch of the power of their arms and feet. Without your force, would you be a match for even the lowliest of Mandalorian warriors? If you want to try and fight us on our terms, that can be arranged. I can fight. You are new here. So you will fight Davril. He is young and has not been able to prove himself in battle. Davril, what are your terms? No weapons, no Jedi tricks, and no items. Just fist and foot. Hand to hand. Put your weapon away, Jedi. Don't step out of the circle and pull any death blow. No one dies in the battle. Yeah. Step into the battle circle. Now you will experience a true. One v one, me, bro. <laughs> Uh, oh, I still realize I got Soresu, I didn't even realize. Uh, Ataru. Alright, here we go. Huh, huh, huh. 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 Huh, huh,
clear and honorable victor. Daryl is just a recruit. I'm not surprised. Yeah, it, I destroyed it. <laughs> a challenger has expressed interest in fighting you. As little honor as you have gained, it is sufficient to accept his request. Let me know if you would fight again. All right. Hello, Daryl. Jedi are skilled warriors, and I am young. I will train very hard to match you in combat next time. Nods. But there are others already here who are more than your equal. Graylor is one of the mightiest among us. He could teach you humility. Graylor. Hmm. Alright. Here to watch your fight or participate. Oh yeah, I know Kex. <laughs> oh, I get to choose the terms. Where does he want to fight me? I'll hand to hand him. I'll 1v1 him. No weapons. Bring it. Bring it, bitch! Huh. I, I'll show you the power of Ataro, even though I'm not even using a lightsaber. Huh. And I kicked the shit out of him. The match between Kex and Jedi is over. The Jedi is the clear and honorable victor. If you want to fight again, let me know. Boom. Fight. You choose to fight again. Now face a real Mandalorian warrior. Tagrin, what are your terms? Just fist and foot like you fought with them. Nothing else. Are we doing this all fist and foot? Hand to hand. Remember, no weapons allowed. Yep. And absolutely no use of your force. Got it. Fight me, bro. 1v1 me. <laughs> Come on, come on, come on, why are you missing, come on, beat him up, come on, no, come on, come on, come on, what the heck, how are you missing everything, come on, you're not doing any damage, what are your rolls, I thought you were, oh my god, come on, beat him up, Okay, there we go. Finally, you're actually doing damage. Man, what is your rolls, man? You're high strength. What are you doing? What the heck? Okay. Oh, it's gonna be a close one. Ah. Oh my god, he's dodging everything. Why is. What's his armor class? <laughs> What is my low rolls? Oh my god, it's gonna be a close one. Oh, it's gonna be a close one. Come on. Come on. Yeah! Holy shit, that was so close. The match between Jedi and Tagrin is over. The Jedi is the clear and honorable victor. You have fought well today. The only Mandalorians left for you to fight are our champions. No one can fight a champion until they have proven themselves worthy. And it must be real proof. The kind you gain fighting foes to the death. And a champion must observe and deem your actions worthy. There are two champions in the camp. Braylor and Kelborn. Until you prove yourself in their eyes, the battle circle is closed to you. Very well.
know, Bray, though. The Jedi Order isn't completely dead. You always had hidden strength. Very hard for even the wisest Mandalore to judge or predict. I have studied much of the Jedi since their defeat. I would be honored to cross blades with you in the battle circle. Can you vouch for me, then? I could only do that if I observed you fight an enemy in real combat. I have seen your matches so far, and I do not doubt your worthiness to face me. But the rules cannot be changed. The other champion, Kelborn, is in the jungle on a mission. Perhaps your paths will cross, and you'll have your opportunity there. Hmm. You have prowess in battle, this cannot be denied. But your Jedi teachings prevent you from having I'm not a Jedi war. anymore. The Jedi couldn't have beaten us in the Mandalorian Wars. It took a fallen Jedi to gain that honor. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Ain't gonna deny it. So, uh... Yeah, you know, seem as aggressive as the other Mandalorians. I prepare and train, readying my mind and weaponry for a real challenge. Peace is not our natural element. Mandalorians handle it differently. I focus on educating myself in the martial techniques I will need to succeed in the next war. I'll be going now. So you're a fast travel guy. I know that. I could handle myself. Why did you call off your patrols? Three ships? That was my ship and the door ship. What was the third? I don't know. It was some sort of freighter. It didn't land at any Well, the door ship is the dead. No All the crew I killed. On beasts. The crew is probably already dead. So why are you hiding for the military? The people of Onderon still live in fear of us. They were the first world we conquered in the Mandalorian Wars. Their resistance was laughable. We cut through their defenses like vibral blades through cloth. Isis fell within hours. If they knew we were here, they would eventually gather enough courage to attack us. It is not a battle we wish to wage. Yet. Anything else on the moon? Who knows? Our relay dish is down, and until Zuka repairs it, we're blind. The Onderon military has cordoned off the planet, so there shouldn't be anybody else down here. Still. Our sensors occasionally pick up signals on the surface. I see. What signals? It's like someone is searching the planet, and doing so under the noses of the military. Whoever they are, they've stayed clear of us. Why would they search the planet? I don't know. Duxun's all jungle except for this camp. One did you mean by light? So, about those larger beasts. <laughs> Challenge for Mandalorians. If you see one, stay out of its way. With a What's a Zack egg? It's a huge red lizard that's built like a Baragwan battle tank. It has a hide so thick it might as well be durasteel plating. We keep clearing them out of the area, but they keep coming back. They're tough opponents for non Mandalorians. Well, I can defeat it. You fight a Zack egg. If you survived such a battle, you'd gain much honor. I'll see. I'll be back when I've defeated one. Strong words. It would be amusing to see you try to kill such a beast. Try the outlying jungle paths if you're determined to seek one out. And bring me back a trophy from your kill. 
as proof of the deed. Very well. All right, crew, let's go. Hello. You finally arrived, Jedi. I seek to reclaim the honor that you uh. stole from me. I challenge you here, outside of the battle circle. Uh. This time, we fight to the death. Are you... Why do you want to fight me again? <laughs> Shall fight. Now you face a true Mandalorian on the field of battle. Alright, uh it's a 1v1 guys. Chill. <laughs> okay, uh Well Huh. Uh are you guys okay that I killed your okay. Uh hello. I noticed. What piece are there? Mostly Canucks and Malras. Deeper in the jungle, there's Boma Beast. I killed one. You telling me about the Canucks? They'll eat anything they can fit in their mouths. So don't leave any gear and supplies lying around. Unless you want them to end up in a Canucks belly. They aren't very aggressive, though. Just don't get too close to them, and they'll leave you alone. The Malras? Bomber beast? Bomas are tough and fiercely territorial. Whenever we drive them off, they just come back to reclaim their grazing land. We can handle them, but they may be too I much. I already you. killed one. Okay, uh, Zack eggs? How do you know of the Zack egg? We've seen signs along the path. They are naturally armored and have foul dispositions. Mandalorian expeditions clear them out of the area, but ducks on beasts never take kindly to losing territory. As soon as ship activity dies out around here, we may hunt them again. Very well. Even the brave... Right. The path diverges. I think I go down here. Can we switch out our party members yet? Oh yeah, we can. Uh, as in now, I'm not interested. Get him. Let us end this. Right. Oh, there it is. <laughs> How convenient, but And the camp's nearby, I can just quickly return and Yeah, deliver that phase converter to get their dish back up and running. Excuse me. Just gonna zip on by. And away we go. Hello, Zuka. Oh. Nope. Both cables and telemetry computers are working now. That's the best thing I've heard in weeks. I'll be sure to tell Mandalore about your help. Look, I have some extra parts and computers. Oh, I was about to give you the tour. You probably make better use of them than I can. Oh, neat. Any progress with the repair? I found a part for it. Let me see. Well, it looks like the phase pulse converter has been broken into three pieces. What? The Canucks must have been fighting over it. This piece is in good enough shape to repair. Find more of them, bring them to me. Oh. Okay then. 
Alright, let's get out. Kill him. What is HJ shooting at? What's in your belly? Do you even have anything in you? No? Right. Oh, that's a big old bomber. Hello. A moment. Beast there. Do you see it? The yes. Force flows even through these simple creatures. If you empty your mind, you may be able to feel its thoughts. They aren't fully formed. Basic instincts, primal urges, every breath dominated by the needs of the moment. I feel it. Good. Beasts can be easier to affect than sometimes. But you must bridge the gap between what distinguishes us and them. You feel its thoughts, yes? It's like a low rumble hungry. before the storm. Use the force to create a barrier around it carefully. Hmm. Slowly. I'll try. <laughs> is a fragile thing. Many things can break its hold. Violence, especially. Thank you, I never knew anything about that. You may thank me by using what you have learned. Let us go. Beast trick. Nice. I shall try it right now. Where is it? Beast trick. Huh. There we go. Now it worked. It, it, well, briefly. It worked briefly. Okay, I don't think I can spam that. <laughs> Alright. Neat. Hmm, do I go up or do I go down? I'll go up. Spam this ability. Haha! -ha, oh. Haha! -ha, oh. Okay, that didn't work. Key, ya! It's dead. Anyway, another Malras. Key, ya! It didn't work again. My wisdom shit. <laughs> I mean, my charisma can somewhat compensate, but, uh, yeah. Probably have to raise my wisdom a little bit, probably. Anyway, uh, actually, what's my, I think my, uh, Christmas Constitution Wisdom, oh no, my Wisdom is boosted up a little bit, sort of, <laughs> tiny bit, uh, not that much though, what's this? Are you, there? I, I am in need of your assistance. Are you Kumas? I thought you were dead. What are you doing up there? The patrol was sent to look for weapon caches in this region. They found three sites that looked promising. Zarga told me to prove myself by taking explosives to those sites and uncovering the caches, if they exist. So, how did you get up there? This was the first site. After easily dispatching some Maras, I removed my pack and began to plant my charges along this ridge. When I finished 
setting the charges, I looked down to see Canucks swarming all over my pack. The pests were eating everything. I killed the Canucks, but then a herd of Bomas arrived. I had no more ammo. The extra energy cells I had brought had been in my pack. So I've been up here, weaponless, for two days. Well, uh, how can I help? I think I've already killed them. I could give you extra ammo. My blaster rifle's been useless ever since I used it to bash it. Oh. Skull. Uh. Okay, I'll drive them off then. I think I've already killed them. Let's do. You mean this one? But I'm just kidding. No, no, no. I'll leave it alone. I'll leave it alone. Uh, I think I've already. Oh no, no, they're there. Kill him. I think. I think the mind trick's supposed to be used with stealth. Now, now, now I think about it. Kill them, and they're dead. All right, I think. I'm grateful for your help, stranger. I'm returning to the Mandalorian camp now. I what about the explosives in the air? Though? I have only one request. Please don't mention this incident to anyone. Your secret safe with me. And uh, wait, what are you gonna do with the explosives? Sir? No, 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 I'm back to being neutral. Sorry, what the fuck is this supposed to do? Eh, boop! Oh, oh shit, that would've killed him! <laughs> oh my god! Holy shit, that actually would've killed him. <laughs> okay. Well, back to neutral once again. They're doing well so far on the neutrality, even though I'm not even trying. <laughs> I'm just going based off the personality I programmed for Velvet to follow. But yeah. Hey, wait for speed. These are vast jungles. I must cover the ground quickly. Right. I'm just gonna zip on by. More Bomas. Kill them. Kill them all. Let us end this. Boom. They're dead. Okay. Yoink. Cannot. You could have that pulse converter part on you. Man, you'd be surprised on how intact these objects are in their stomach. Time to carve this sucker open if it has any loot. Well, I just need one more part according to the Mandalore. Oh, that's the Zack egg, I'm guessing. Alright, uh, let me just equip my, no, Mandalorian shield. And yes. I believe you need to equip your Mandalorian shield. Alright, let's go. Can another bloody cannock, oh my god, stab it. Do you have any of the... Do you have the final piece? No you don't, but yeah, I have something that I can use to... Oh, that's a Zack Melee shields up! What is it? Melee shields up! And attack... Oh wait, first, uh... Insanity? If it's even a... Nope, it's saved, okay. 
Oh wow, really? That well, okay, this is underwhelming. <laughs> uh, they really overhyped him, huh? They really overhyped this beast. I'm just gonna. Can I just take its entire head? Why the ear? <laughs> Oh, there's all the dead. There's all the victims. But then. Okay. Well, that was easy. That was. Uh, underwhelming. Uh. Well. That'll be it for today's session. Hope you all enjoyed. What the fuck? Okay, my hotkey wasn't working there. Alright, see you later. Time to... Because uh, right now is when Kryken is gonna stream VR Chat RP, so... I don't wanna miss that, so... See you there.